fastest 40 minutes of basketball. Under the guidance of head coach Mike Anderson, the Missouri men's basketball program continues to exceed expectations. Following a season that saw a school record, 31 wins, a Big 12 tournament championship, and a trip to the Elite Eight, the 2009-2010 Tigers had big shoes to fill. Coming into uh, uh, this particular season, uh, we lost some tremendous players, uh, you know, Damari, Carroll, Leo Lyons, Matt Lawrence and Mike Anderson Jr. And so uh, I guess the big question mark was who would be the guy who will assume the, the leadership role. We did lose some pieces. We lost some major pieces. But at the same time, we didn't lose that many to the point where we weren't going to be a good team this year. Anderson's squad finished. Really could have won. In a year that was supposed to be transitional, Mizzou wasted no time getting into the win column, winning the first four games of the season, the Tennessee Martin Skyhawks. Texas Pan American Broncos and Chattanooga Mox were no match for Missouri as the Tigers won by 15, 56, and 43 points respectively. Next up. It's basketball from South Padre Island in the final semifinal as Old Dominion takes on Missouri. A chance to meet Richmond in the championship game as you take a look at the brackets. The Richmond Spiders would make our own way this season. They have wins over Tennessee Martin, UT Pan American, and Tennessee Chattanooga. Take a look at the Missouri lineup, and this is the way they will set it up. As J.T. Tiller has returned to the lineup for this team, so it'll be Keith Ramsey, Justin Safford, the junior, the big guys inside, Zaire Morgan, Marcus Damon, and J.T. Tiller, the senior who really makes it go as he was another Missouri Tiger. A ball controlled in the backcourt. J.T. Tiller, who's back out to Tiller, and they'll set the offense. Tried to step through. Ramsey with the nice reversal and the little jump hook inside. Now three games this season. Keep it. Here's Tiller. Step through. Put it up and score. There it's well, Delancey right now, the only substitution right now for Old Dominion. Also, Carter is in the game. They play 10 players a lot. You got both free throws for Zaire Taylor. It's the game you think, golly, someone count how many jerseys are out here. Dixon had it locked in the putback. Is up and good for Lars inside. Bowers missed it. Easy shot. A lot of a lot of traffic in there. And English just picked up the loose ball and lost the ball, though. Pursuing tip. Tiller inside, Safford the cutter, and he scores. This is the largest. Carter takes it all the way in, put it up in an offensive foul. Well, you got to have the ability against yeah, Missouri. Right. Zaire Taylor, baseline they go. Safford the floater again, tipped up and in by Ramsey. Keith Ramsey's second field goal. Back out to Tiller. Step through Denman. It's 17 to 9. And Old Dominion wants to call a timeout. Tiller got the second. First half, and here they are with four minutes to go at just 18, now 21. Tough shot 20. by English, and English throughout this entire game. Bowers 
makes the first. So Lawrence, well, 13 yeah, points, six rebounds a game so far this season. Battled through some injuries a year ago, an Elite Eight a year ago. They beat Memphis to go to that Elite Eight. There's a steal. Dixon with the three. Boy, this is a zone press. They've been doing man-to-man -man press. This is a two. Nearly another steal. There is the steal. Four on one. Tiller laid it off. Ramsey the dunk. Mike was excited talking about him. Yes, he was. There's Dixon up top. He's excited talking about Dixon yeah, as is. well. Yeah, he is. Michael Dixon, second three. Well, Ronnie Hernandez, Darren George, and Dennis Howard, the officials for this game. Good look inside, and Bowers with his second since then. Nine points since then. So a 24 to nine run for Missouri closes out this first half of play. And what an impressive first half it was for Mike Anderson's ball club, the 60 year head coach. Side. This is long as about as long as you'll see Missouri hold on to the ball. When they get threes, why not? They answer. Taylor, senior from Staten Island, New York. One out of two. They say four players with two points each. That's the other eight points for this ball club. Safford hits a jumper. Kick out to English. Rattles won't stay. Tiller got the offensive rebound and the putback. Uh, that's just bad rebounding. I mean, Tiller caught that ball down. English for three. Splashed it home. Just like that, you're right. Trying to work. Stepped in, had it stripped. Tiller ahead to Safford. James can't catch up, and Safford with the finish. You're able to cut this deficit to single digits a couple of times. And you know, if on a regular night when you would have won defensively, they've struggled down on the offensive end. Denman gets both free throws. It's in that Colonial Athletic Association. Zaire Taylor, nice pass to Bowers. I don't know what was better, the bounce pass or the fact that Bowers was able to step around. Intensity for Missouri has dropped off a little bit, but that may be a result of ODU handling it better. Yep. So a nine, and the rebound comes down to Zaire Taylor. Safford at the other end and finishes. What a great play by Zaire Taylor. Tiller. Now Tiller gets the first. They have one more. Much energy climbing the mountain. They've gotten back up here. And now every time Blaine Taylor has put his sub, a tough decision right now for Blaine Taylor. Do you let him run that shot clock down? Well, Zaire Taylor, how about that? There's your run the shot clock down. Yeah. And back out to an 11-point game. And a couple of shots here. English will have one more. He goes to the free throw line. Gets the first. Here in this first, or in the uh, early going of this season. Gets the first free throw to go. This game, 59-51. Tigers lead by eight. And a nine-point lead. Oh, we broke it, now let's pull it back out. One more tonight. Trying to make it five for five. And does just that. So Missouri on top by nine. That'll be Tiller at the free throw line. Tiller, probably the best case as far as sitting in the free throw line tonight because he's missed half of those free throws tonight, but he is true on that one. Not any time on a basketball court you shoot with your weight back, and that time Tiller came up and looked better. up on that rim soft and good things can happen and that's what happened there eight point lead should be the last possession hits the three-pointer a five-point game two and a half seconds remaining and tiller will let the time run out and what a game this was yeah. from a standpoint i want to give all the credit in the world to old dominion man they had never quit in this game mike anderson's team didn't shoot the ball well but they are 
a study in how you play aggressive defense. My goodness. I agree with you. I, I mean, hats off to Old Dominion. They could have folded up at halftime and just checked in. Instead, they came back and made this a basketball game. And uh, just, tr just very good free throw shooting by the Missouri Tigers the last two minutes of this game. Or things could have gotten really interesting. Should be an interesting matchup tomorrow. And you can see it here on Fox College Sports as the Missouri Tigers will take on the Richmond Spiders. It's the championship game of the South Padre Island Invitational comes your way 8 o'clock Eastern right here on Fox College Sports. So for Reed Geddes and all of us here at Fox College Sports, I'm Kevin Eschenfelder. Thanks so much for being with us again. We'll see you tomorrow night, 8 o'clock Eastern, right here on FCS. Last night, the Richmond Spiders knocked off Mississippi State with a flurry of three-pointers, followed by an attacking, aggressive offense to take game one. Later, the suffocating defense of the Missouri Tigers clamped down on the Old Dominion Monarchs. The Tigers held off a late rally by ODU to win game two and advance to the championship game. Tonight, it's the Richmond Spiders taking on the Missouri Tigers to determine which team will be cast away and who will find island treasure. It's Welcome to the South Padre Island Convention Center where once there were eight and now there are two. We're down to the championship game of the South Padre Island Invitational. And the two Richmond Spiders, and this is the way they do it. Ryan Butler, again, the career-high 19 points in yesterday's game. Justin Harper, who is an unbelievably athletic player, he had a big day yesterday as well. Dan Giroux, the man on the first half yesterday against ODU. Keith Ramsey starts it along with Justin Safford on the inside. Zaire Taylor, who will run the point. Basically, they, they, they start basically three point guards with Richmond in white, Missouri in black. And we are ready to get underway. Here at the championship game of the South Padre Island Invitational. And it'll be Richmond basketball to get things into this game. 2 nothing, Richmond on top. Richmond will switch defenses almost every time down the court. That time in a man-to-man, -man, and nobody went out on Justin Safford. And beautiful one-on-one -on -one -on -one move out there on the perimeter. Safford, the free throw line jumper. It was Marcus Denman leans in, laid it out. Strong move and score. Anderson had it stolen in the backcourt. And one. What a play by Zaire Taylor. Uh, he stopped his body underneath a couple of Tigers in double figures in that game last night. There's a great deal of balance in their scoring. They had at least eight players in position and they're just doing a better job executing. English, pretty shot. He's got a good looking. That's us. We've got a good look. Nobody wants to see you. <laughs> Diller will have one out and people at the beach and great atmosphere for a holiday tournament. Diller made them both. <laughs> if you don't, I've got three over yeah, here. That's that right. Tiller will have one more. Gonna be stiffening up in that lower back. Tiller gets a second score from the free throw line. Leading assist man come off the bench. Good pass. An offensive rebound. Back with Bowers. To know. Tiller finding the open man, but nobody. Dunker just lost his man underneath. He tries to define a role for himself. Dixon all the way to the basket. Boy, basket boy, he is quick. Right through just a freshman out of Kansas City. His and Taylor gets the free throw. Dixon the rebound, and again, they'll slow it down now. Forget about that. <laughs> Three-pointer up and good as Michael Dixon does his sixth three-pointer of his career. Get to it. Missouri has not scored in about three and a half minutes. Over three and a half minutes. They changed that. Can't change it. Oh. Oh, they're going to call a goal ten. I didn't see who hit the ball. Lawrence Bauer set a great screen for Kim. Killer spins in, lays it off, blocked from behind. Anderson, plenty of time to get another look, takes it all the way to the end, puts it up off the glass. No, tipped up by Smith, but it will not count. 
Boy, he had a perfect alley-oop for Kevin Smith. Instead of shooting that, if he'd have dropped it off the... Going away from the other in the first half. You take a look at the numbers. Richmond shooting 50%. Missouri just making one out of every three shots so far. And, you know, Richmond doing well enough from three-point distance. You know, free throws really haven't been. would have been better to have reversed that. Comes out to English. Hanging in the air and scoring. That's one thing. I'm telling you, Kim English is a heck of a scorer. No, Giroux, the strong box out. Lost it, though. Safford got it back. Up and under. Tiller and one. Giroux may be hurt. Take a look again down there, boxing out hard to the right of your screen, grabs that rebound and, oh yeah, just hit his head right on Justin Safford's elbow. Hit his eye right on the elbow. That wasn't a thrown elbow. Watch, he dies and watch him hit his left elbow. Yeah, right there. Nice finish by J.T. Tiller. Absolutely, and Tiller will go to the free throw line. Oh, Tiller gets the free throw in the three-point play, and now Missouri looking to make a shot. I mean, they hit a shot, suddenly they can go on a 10-0 run in the blink of an eye. English, Bowers was there. And, you know, really an ill-advised shot block attempt by D Smith up top. Here comes Taylor. Zaire Taylor laid it off to English, and he scores. There's four straight. Now, if you're Richmond, you fourth time in a row that He's made something positive happen by going to the rim. The Spider team has not scored in over five minutes. Well, both free throws go down for Kim English. It's now a two-point game, 39-30 to the rebound. Anderson took two too many dribbles before he passed that ball. Tiller steps in, lays it up, and scores. J.T. Tiller with just a body for an NBA small forward. 6'10", long, bouncy, he's strong. Get a one-point game again. Got the second. He's got company there on that bench, like you said. English will have another. Both. And most of his damage has been done right there at the free throw line. But uh, that's it. Season average, 50 to 17, outscoring the other team's bench. Bowers gives Missouri its first lead since the five-minute mark of the first half. At that time, it was 24-23. What a great. Now you will get two shots. And he does. So he makes Richmond pay. An eligible player on the yeah. floor at the time anyway. It's the right way to handle that situation. Killer makes both. 48-40, Mississippi State. Mississippi State came back, got it right back, and Gonzalez hits a big three. And now Raiders, usually their offense is generated with cuts like that. Backdoor cut to Butler. Nice screen by Dunker. Seconds to play. Championship game of the South Padre Island Invitational. Zaire Taylor being guarded by Gonzalez, back out. Tiller open for three, missed the shot. Kevin Smith the rebound. Press, you bet it's coming. Makes the first, you'll have one more. Both free throws go down, two point game. 52-50. No reason to, yeah, I, no agree reason to right I agree. I yeah. agree. Oh, and a reaching foul is called. With 17.6 seconds remaining as Zaire Taylor is called for the foul. Zaire Taylor read that perfectly. And score in a hurry. Zaire Taylor takes it in, lays it up. And with less than seven seconds remaining, the Tigers fell short though. Richmond won 59-52. Mizzou hit another pump in the road when the Tigers visited Vanderbilt on December 2nd. Despite a 13-1 run late in the second half and four Tigers scoring in double digits, MU lost by six. We had some opportunities to, to finish some games out in, in a positive fashion, and, and of course we didn't finish it. Welcome to Mizzou Arena in Columbia, Missouri. Only 21 teams have gone to the Elite Eight twice in this decade. You've got two of them here, Missouri and Oregon, in the Big 12 Pac-10 Hardwood Series. And creating a lot of turnovers once again for Oregon. And it's all been because of Chris Ball movement. Made 4-3 so far in the first half. You know, also more importantly for Mizzou, they have 
They forced Oregon to seven turnovers and have 16 points off those seven turnovers. So Oregon. A little this place, don't you? What do you call it? The wood chipper. The wood chipper. They kill people in here. They sure. <laughs> Last, they won 33 straight non-con. You know, Demario Carey was a down low post score. And we have three guys that tall and that long at the spearhead of your. Missouri by 15 at the 505 mark. Kimmy English, he's been the scorer early for Missouri this season. And English has seven to shoot. He's in a crouch position, and he just goes up, and he knows it's going to go in. And that's a shooter's touch. When you hold that hand up there. Mike has won every place he's been. At UAB, he was a winner there. Part of those great teams at Arkansas as an assistant to Nolan Richardson. And as a player, won an NIT championship with Tulsa. And here's what Mizzou does best. A three, and they get on a roll in here, Jay, and I'm telling you, it's 94-foot defense. Well, you can't make lots of days go passes like that. Against Mizzou, you have to really utilize the ball fix. you got to try to fake them out, keep them. It's the importance of how each breath is important to you and your family. And anything we can do to help and support the cause, we're going to fight for it. Ramsey with a nice seal. Decision by Jameel Wilson. Ernie Kent was telling him that Ed Shooter and his Denman loads up. He was telling him, okay, you're going to break the... Dixon tries to create again for Denman. Denman is on fire. 13 points for Marcus Denman. A 22 to 1. Great gym to shoot. Got a chance to shoot out here earlier on today. The rims are nice. The lighting is perfect. I tell you, everything is perfect for Mizzou. The way they've been attacking the first half. Great ball movement once again. And the ability to knock down the stroke now. Teams like Stanford that now have legitimate chances to have a great season. Three for Kim English. And now Mizzou has scored. And Lawrence Bowers will go to the line for Mizzou to shoot a couple of Kendrick Lawnmeyer fouling for the Oregon Ducks. In two, Oregon lost a home game to Montana, lost on the road to Portland. But Portland has become an interesting story. They beat Armstead with a look here late. Sam flings it in Missouri with a brilliant first half. The Tigers doing what they do at home. 53 to 24 at halftime over the Oregon Ducks. And Mizzou doing it with nine three-point makes, forcing 12 Oregon. Missouri by 29, just underway in the second half in the Big 12 Pac-10 Hardwood Series. You talked about stats earlier, man. This is all Mizzou. Mizzou just playing great basketball the fact that both leagues are doing I think it's great to get a little out of non-conference reps play against some other teams. The ACC. The ACC was the first league I saw that really did that. They put claw each other's eyes out. But when they were playing non-conference. I heard a great pass. Ball movement once again. The give and go. Bowers with the finish. And this is what Missouri does with great ball movement. Everybody's always acting in the glow of that Civil War. Thursday night victory over <laughs> Oregon State. They're going to the Rose Bowl. Bowers with the layup, and again. Showtime. Good assist. Or R is an art. And there's a bucket by Bowers. That's another assist for Missouri per game. And this is what an assist will do to you. The perfect pass and a bucket and Mizzou leading big. We were talking to him today. They used to play Friday, Saturday night in the old Pac-8. I don't know. How to, that's like an NBA schedule. Crazy. How do you do that? But if Tebow and his team find a way to win this game, who do you give the Heisman to? McCoy. Still give it to McCoy. Yeah, I mean, Tim, Tebow's had a great. Not really figuring out who they are offensively. So they're coming to a gym like this. And the environment's going to be crazy. It's going to be a lot louder than what it is now for Oregon. And you got to think that Mizzou might have a chance to win some of those games. Paul okay. Aldridge. Guys like Dexter Pittman for Texas. Guys like Brian Davis for Texas A&M. And you, sir. Greg Brackens at Iowa State's another one who's a low. Great low post player. And you saw him against Vandy. They put him 5-1 to one in the Big 12 Pac-10 Hardwood Series. And there's a three from Zaire Taylor. Now, from a consistency standpoint, ball and made sound decisions. Miller, foot didn't hurt this time. Foot didn't, foot didn't hurt at all on that one. A little elevation. Makes it feel better. You just, or you get an open floor angle of the basket, and nobody's going to stop. This elevation to get to the rim. Having a hard time keeping his footing afterwards, but... 85 feet from the basket. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that look. Bummer at Stanford. And, and it, it's a matter of time before this team gets it all together. Did a great job bringing on a great coach with 
great defensive schemes that he can bring to the table. You know where Mike got onto the uh, radar? He was at Metro State. He was at Metro State in Denver, Colorado. Balls, it's just a matter of time before he gets this Oregon team back to the top. And it may even happen this year. Balls, it's just a matter of time before he gets this Oregon team back to the top. And it may even happen this year. And a flush by Bowers, another great. A little bit of athleticism coming down the middle with the pike. A little flush right there. And that's the thing that's so difficult about Missouri basketball as well. Uh, they got a couple of guys coming in next year. Phil Pressy, a speedy guard, 5'10", plays really fast, of course. Tony Mitchell, a 6'8 power forward from Dallas, Texas, who's long, athletic. He kind of fits into the scheme of things here. Keep bringing in talent after talent. But no look pass. Bowers had the bucket, now he with the other sweet assist. That is 24 assists. So you got a young talent, and you got young talent coming to join young talent. Dixon, speaking of young talent, splashes in the. I mentioned that St. Mary's game, that looks huge for them. Safford can hit a three. To fourth, fifth. Okay, you late. That Rosier Taylor never would have had the chance to make the game winning shot here. That he hit some big threes. I mean, you saw the movie Fargo? Yes. Remember ah, Steve Buscemi? Yes, I like that. I suppose that's your friend in the wood chip. Hammond creates. He's got 15 points, close to a career high. I'm not sure what that was from Tiander. Denman scored 17 points to help them use to a 106-69 victory. Four days later, the Tigers traveled to Tulsa, Oklahoma to face Oral Roberts. Missouri scored 12 consecutive points to take a 26-24 lead at the half. You can change with Missouri's defensive pressure. That's just classic, classic Tiger basketball. After the Golden Eagles scored the first three points in the second half, JT Tiller's three-pointer gave Missouri the lead. The Tigers led the rest of the way until the final second, when Oral Roberts scored and won the game 60 to 59. Even though a loss is a loss and either way is tough, I think I'd rather lose by a big margin than a tip in like at Baylor or something like that, you know, or, you know, a last minute shot like at Oral Roberts because, you know, you've came so far and you fought so hard that that whole game to come up that short. I feel like with three minutes left, we could have won any game that we played this season. And I feel like we really should have. After the heartbreak loss, Missouri bounced back with a nine game winning streak including wins over Fairleigh Dickinson and Arkansas Pine Bluff. By English, English to the rim. Jam At the Scott Trade Center. They compete in a holiday tradition spanning three decades, yearning for the gift that keeps on giving, bragging rights over your neighbor. In St. Louis, it's the Fighting Illini of Illinois and the Tigers of Missouri, part of Holiday Hoops, presented by K Jewelers. And for Tiger fans, it's been much too long since they've had anything to brag about in this series. Illinois coming in, winners of the last nine in a row. That's something to watch early here. Kim English, the leading scorer for Mizzou this year, and here he is spotting up for the three. Made field goal. Full court pressure schemes. There's the trap in the corner and the turnover. Tiller with the lay-in, and Missouri off to the hot start. This is something that has plagued them in recent years in this rivalry as they were in at 8-3. and three. McKamey, along with the two freshmen in the backcourt, Richardson and Paul. Mike Davis is the leading rebounder in the conference. Michael Dixon will get the start tonight. Zaire Taylor is out sick. We could see him later in the evening. He'll be joined by Tiller English Bowerson in his fourth season, engineering this uh, remarkable turnaround for Mizzou that included the Big 12 championship last year in a trip to the Elite Eight. Well, he's the architect. Weber in his seventh season, a couple of Big Ten championships back in 04 and 05, and that national run, that is second best in the country. And as a result, Steve, they get a lot more possessions from their opponent, and then their opponent is Dixon knocks it down. Well, Dixon has had double. Not a good decision by Richardson, and it's Tiller on the breakout for the throwdown. 
Well, the early turnovers have cost the Illini. It did come from 23 down to beat Clemson in a dramatic ACC Big Ten showdown in the Illini history yeah. against Clemson. And the Big Ten record for the uh, biggest deficit overcome in the second half. Their half-court schemes or sets and ensure they get a good look at the rim. The skip to English. There's a guy that is making huge leaps forward in his three. He is they prepare for Big Ten Conference play. Safford looking for three, knocks it down. First points for Tisdale, and now English scoops it up and in, went right around the big fella to score. Well, English using a little English. And Illinois now with its first lead. But not for long. Safford knocks it down for two. Well, good movement without the ball. And their bigs are very comfortable on the perimeter, catching and shooting. Safford with the kick out to English. That's set up by the dribble drive. Safford working well without the ball. Beth, the catch and shoot. A games here during the holidays. Good look by Dixon coming off the screen. Good lift on his shot by Missouri, the collapse for the post. The strip by English, one of the top in the country at taking the ball away and converting at the other end. Yeah. He's got ice in his veins. Doesn't he realize this is a big game? Missouri with the quick counter, the end-to-end -end action here in St. Louis. Tiller now with eight for Illinois. Well, Mike Davis with the hot hand here. They try and go single coverage, but great help by English, who comes up with the stab and this to the uh, BCS championship game in January on the ESPN family of network. Juan Dixon as well, and some good players out of that area. Michael Dixon, no relation, knocks it down. The freshman from Kansas City. And a nice delivery. He's shooting 52% so far in the first half. English gets the three. That is the fifth of the half for Missouri in their big offensively. The pull up by Miguel Paul. They are dropping jumpers all over Illinois. Double from the defense to offense, and they are opportunistic. They've got the green light, the Emerald City green light. Mike Anderson allows his kids to shoot the three ball in trans scattered floor. And the pressure here early, the trap in the corner forces the turnover. The quick score, again, scoring in flurries. The alert, opportunistic into a passing lane. Tiller out in transition for the jam. And a good collapse, again, like a defensive back there, laying on that easy bath. Taylor off the bounce, outside to Paul, three more. Six triples in the half for the Tigers. But Richardson, no, there's the second chance for Paul, and now Missouri, four to go. The freshman Brandon Paul cleaning up the Richardson miss for Illinois. But the Tigers turning over the fighting Illini abundantly for the first half lead. And now let's join Carl Ravich for the K Jewelers halftime of symptoms. And we just saw him briefly in that first half, but another rebound. And the stick back from Dixon for three. There's the full court pressure. Get the turnover. Oh boy, Dick practice and from game to game over the arc of a season. The freshman on the other. Brandon Trish at Syracuse had a new career high last night. Well, that trio of freshmen for Kentucky outstanding. Henry right there. Another turnover. Look at Dixon. He is cat quick. A little double on the half court gives Missouri the N1. Bowers a chance for a three-point play to extend the biggest lead of the night for Missouri. Talk about opportunities. The good, strong finish by Bowers. 
a lanky, long prospect, able to use length there, but also some strength to finish. Absorb the hit. And that is... And all alone underneath is Tiller. Well, scatter court opportunity. Dixon with excellent vision, looking... Good camera work by the crew. Half the arena, Missouri. Half the arena, Illinois. And the Tigers take advantage of the extra possession. Marcus Denman for three. I was just going to say. To go along with 12 two-point baskets they're scoring so far tonight. Denman from NBA range. And a great delivery by Zaire Taylor. Able to put it on the deck. Split. Who's going to put it on the deck. The help comes from Tisdale. And alertly, Zaire Taylor kicks it out. Denman in rhythm. A nice catch and shoot. Releases the ball. Taylor into double digits. Gets the bounce. He's one of three Tigers now. In the three-point line when the shot is coming off the pass. English, look at how quickly Missouri counters. That's taking the team's basket away. 11 points and 11 rebounds. Dixon responds. Macbeth, he is a freshman. Last year. Keith Ramsey, the senior, knocks down the first. Jim Burr, baseline official, right there to see it clearly. Make on the second will allow Missouri to set. Fresh clock for Missouri. They're clearly showing some patience here in the late game. Dixon, the kick out to English. His fifth triple of the night. Ten of them now for Missouri. Under five minutes to play. Ted on the shot clock. English. Oh, he switched it to the right hand in midair and knocked it down. Well, Missouri just playing efficient basketball, Beth. Need the quick trigger right there. Well, a little dribble penetration. The three ball off the kick out by Dixon. And then English, six foot six and long. A circus shot that goes down. Great body control. Help defensively. English, Denman on the breakout. Leaves it off for Dixon. Transition basketball, a little two-on-one basketball, the good give up, and Dixon with the finish. Step into the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. An excellent give up there, a little shovel pass by Marcus Denman. And in his debut in the Bragging Rights game, he's getting awfully close to never having to buy a meal in Columbia again. Well, how about five? Had four. 20-point games on the season. Now tonight is fifth. His career high is 26. Up to 23 on the night. Keep in mind, Missouri's doing this bet with Zaire Taylor. Not at full strength and really only at a double-digit deficit. And Safford with a steal. He'll take it all the way. Five to go. Now it's time and score, understanding situations. Missouri not holding off. No, keeping the attack, the pressure on. For Kim English tonight, 16 for Dixon, the freshman with a new career high this evening. Now the Tigers have stopped the bleeding. Got a win streak of their own. And now all they'll talk about is a one-game winning streak. Missouri over Illinois, 81 to 68. Their first Bragg and Rights win since 1999. Well, the coaches play it down, Beth. They say it's just another game, but you can see the relief and the celebration by the Missouri Tigers. A big win for Mike Anderson. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Steve Lab and I'm Beth Mowen. So long from St. Louis.
Yes, we'll send you back now to the studio. Game early for Coach Anderson and the Tigers when Missouri ended a nine-year losing streak against the Fighting Illini. We didn't know the nine years. All I knew was I cried after we lost to him my freshman year, and I was in my dorm room on Christmas Eve just sick, distraught. And I just seen all those Mizzou fans just sick because I knew how big that game was. Kim English's five three-pointers helped lead Mizzou to an 81-68 victory. I was just in complete focus and complete attack mode, and I think we as a team played one of our most complete games of the year that, that night in uh, St. Louis. Freshman Michael Dixon added 16 points and five assists in the Bragg and Rights game. The Tigers returned to the friendly confines of Mizzou Arena to finish the non-conference schedule, beating Austin P and UMKC before facing the Georgia Bulldogs on January 2nd. Sophomore forward Lawrence Bowers scored 17 points in the first half, and the Tigers forced 23 turnovers to win 89-61. 301 right side for Tiller. Floats it up off the Mizzou finished the non-conference season with a 12 and 3 mark after beating Savannah State by 29 points. Well, to our live audience, welcome to Colleen and one. Everybody thought they'd be good, maybe not this good. Of course, standing Tigers who have won 29 in a row. Well, Mike Anderson calls it the fastest 40 minutes in basketball, Rock. We've seen early turnovers by the ball more towards midcourt, but you admire the hustle. Three on the way, yes. Well, when we partment, so he slept in the gym overnight just to work on his game, and early in this game pays off. He's only a soft team assist or more this year. Taylor gets the first shot to go. Had one week last year that may be as big a week as he has ever had in his life as he makes two of them. He got a game. Zaire Taylor reverses and scores. Ron, there's a good example right there. They used 35. Well, Bowers gets that one to go as well. Here's Sutton. Left-handed dribble, ball is blocked inside, and they're going to call an offensive foul and give credit. English loves to put that ball up. He's a prolific scorer, but if you play for Mike Anderson, you've got to sacrifice your body. <laughs> <laughs> Safford for three. Nope, it's not there. Chip English gets it back, and he scores the easy putback. Not uh, necessarily that easy, but Denny Clemente is a guy that's put points on the board in the past, but his leadership as a playmaker. Has... You know, the amazing thing as you look forward to this season in the Big 12 Conference, name how many teams are playing. Uh, transformation, but he's lost a ton of weight, gotten himself in good shape, only a sophomore. 40 pounds. Yeah. Hey, how about this? To show you the kind of job K-State is doing on defense, a travel is called with Pullen. And give nice job by Bowers. Deep in the corner for three. Count it. Great. Marcus Denman. Movement out of the pressure. Taylor swings it quickly. Just a catch and shoot by Marcus Denman. Well, that foul is on Bowers. Brand, it's his first. And it is the ninth. Trans, he's left shoulder now. Okay. See it? Just sticks it out a little bit. Yeah, it's a I didn't. This hustle around. Watch them both go to the floor. See, that's legal right there. That's not a travel. It's a good play by Pullen. Nine of those. JT off on the left wing. Denman passed up the three, Ramsey, cut her down the middle, got it. Not Alabama, one of the teams I got to see was dominant, particularly in the first half against the, the Tide. He's a high school. Three and a half minutes is what we have left until intermission. Second shot in the way, English has got it. Tested that don't have a chance to go in, and when you miss free throws, that's also an invisible turnover because it just you're giving away opportunities to score right now. 25 fouls combined for these two teams, and that's what Fran was talking about. It is a difficult game. English along the baseline, back out on top, driving the lane and getting the shot to go. Good heavens, Denmark. 
Yeah, that, that's not a take a look. Great look by Kim English. And then watch the little floater by Denman. Over Enriquez. Boy, first at play with great energy. Almost stolen. You see Zaire Taylor applauding himself. Shot clock runs to zero. Listen to this crowd. A 10-point lead just moments ago. Ramsey along the baseline, reverses, wouldn't go, tip inside, and that's going to be Bowers. A three-point lead due for him. Well, he's, he's, it's, it's going to be a 20-minute game in the second half. Enriquez on the fall away, wouldn't go. There is the horn. Nothing to be dismayed about. That was a 15-2 run. It's still a three-point ball game. 36-33. Now let's join Ryan Bird, Doug Gottlieb, and Jason Williams with the half. The big first half, 15-2 run to close the first half. Missouri 29 straight at home. They lead by three at the break over K-State. that Missouri came up with down the stretch of this first half. This was a play that Mike Anderson wasn't happy with. He took the jacket off to go to work, and so did his team. Great effort. They closed Ron with a 15-2 run. Seven, a 9-0 run after he took the jacket off, and more importantly for Frank Martin, the Wildcats missed their last 11 shots. And certainly the crowd has gotten back into this ballgame. There's that great defense that you talked about during the break. And the basket that put the Tigers up. For English comes away with it. English on the run. They say foul on the floor. Wipe out the shot. Yep. Steals because steals stay in play. You see the steal by Kimmy English. There's the bump and the foul. And Terry Davis said that was not in the act. I'm sure Frank talked about it at halftime. They committed a lot of fouls and went double figures early as the runner. They a movement there, but they spread the floor enough to allow Safford, who's a pretty crafty player, the junior from Bloomington. No. Safford. Pass taken yep. away by Taylor. Out the pass to Tiller. That's where they're most in. Shot point blank, and the ball is blocked by Ramsey. Hang on. Over the table is English. <laughs> hey, we're getting combat pay today. It's dangerous down here. Hey, I told you, <laughs> it is not a game. Oh, it's great hustle both ways. And see, I didn't mind the other that they went 0 for 11 in the first half, over seven minutes with no basket. And into the second half as Ramsey with the jump hook. Shafford passed up the shot. Here's English, 15-footer. When Missouri swings it. Well, it's dangerous over here. A lot of effort, a lot of energy. But what would you expect from the opening game in the Big 12? Two teams playing their hearts out. And we're getting a chance. And fourth foul. Well, just that point, Ron, about the Missouri huddle. You've heard me say this before. Plant a little bit and say three jump shots in a row. But the point is, eventually, you must play from the inside. 29 <laughs> in a row for the Tigers here at home. They'd love to keep that one going. And also, still 10 seconds on the clock. That's great defense. Three-pointer on the way. Denman. This is good ball movement now. This is what we talked about. Missouri at their best when a lot of players touch it. 29 win straight home street. Denman, three again. Wow. Sophomore from Kansas City. He is the first tight. And he said we could see because we're less than two miles physically from the thing when it happened, but we didn't know. And he said that is the twin tower. Pullen. Offensive foul. Good officiating. On Pullen. Well, and this is why you have depth games. Taylor, second one on the way. He got it. Here comes that pressure. 
Tie game, 58 grand. Way. Not there. Taken down by the Tigers and almost traveling when the two ran together. And Mike Anderson can't look. He does not look at the second, and that one goes. One point lead. Bowers at the line for the Tigers. And that was one where I think Bowers pushed Samuels. See, I thought he did too. Yeah. Simpson <laughs> goes to the bench. JT Tiller checks back in for the Tigers. Sefferman goes and 10 seconds on the shot clock. Pulling the bounce pass and to score the basket and an opportunity to make it a three point play. Got them both. Got two point guards out there who can attack the paint. Nice bounce pass inside, and he threw the ball away. Not sure that Missouri needs to be in a hurry right here. Denman kisses it off the glass, though, with all the confidence in the world. If there... Tiller, good guess, and he threw it away. Denman. Merriweather got caught in that corner. You talked about that, and then Denman knows he's going to take contact. Gets the foul, and he's going to go to the line. State win it and hold on to that number 10 position. Pulling way outside for the three, and we're tied. Quietly, Ron, he hadn't aimed, but you knew when he had the big guy in the pick and roll that he backed off because he was worried about the drive and Pullen knocked it down. 21 points now for Pullen. 36 seconds. It's down to 35. Taylor for three. He got it. Timeout called by Mike Anderson. Taylor missed a big shot. I told you last year in one week. Defeated Kansas with the final shot. Defeated Texas with a... To receive his degree is... Zaire, Mr. Big Shot Taylor, and the, the audience went crazy. Well, there it is. Pullen got caught behind the screen. Frank Martin said, you got to get up and play him. Merriweather, that's going to stay in there. But if you're Kansas State, I want to move quickly if I'm going to take, take the two. Pullen, that's an air ball. Sutton is there for the follow. It's still a one-point game. 17.3 seconds left, and Tiller is fouled. Ron, if Kansas State goes down three, they still... ...to make it again a three-point game, and he misses, loses the ball taken by Bowers, and he's fouled. Second look. There's Merriweather had one hand on it, and Bowers able to come up. Three point lead, 71 seconds. Gets the second one. Two trip ball game. Clemente gets a screen out high, goes down, taken away by Missouri. The Missouri Tigers are going to make it 30 in a row at home. will go in the record books as a six-point win for Fran Fraschella. It was not that far apart by any stretch of the imagination. No, Ron, and you know what we talk, when you talk about Missouri, we always say pressure is cumulative, and it looked like Kansas State for much of the second half took control, but 
the way Missouri plays, they always give themselves a chance because of the relentless defense and the fact that they can put points on the board because of that defense. Ladies and gentlemen, the University of Missouri. The For more of this game, tune to the ESPN News for post-game extra. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Now, let's go back to the studio. Great finish in the Big East as we have conference tip off and now on to the Big 12 Missouri versus Texas Tech from United Spirit Arena here in Lubbock, Kansas State. The 30th consecutive home win for the Missouri Tigers in Mizzou Arena. Baseline J goes down for Lawrence Bowers, one of the sophomore schools. is K-State, 14 off the bench. End of the game for Mizzou. English three. The leading scorer for the Two Tigers, minutes. Kim English, with it the touch, and Marcus Denman. And Denman floats it right over Mike Singletary. And when that second group comes in, he's the guy that perfect position there with high hands, keeping his hands up on the defender to block that shot. Bowers buries the three. That's classic Missouri basketball. You always have to be aware of being trapped on the over at UAB allowed. Tiller, his scholarship release, so that he could join Mike Anderson in Missouri. And he has had... They still have a lot of versatility out there. The Juco players that Coach Knight brought, he wanted some 6'4 to 6'7 guys who were interchangeable. Tigers try to get it to the post. The lob for Safford, and he finishes it off. They like to clear out the strongest. It was a nice play. <laughs> Dixon misses. Follow from Zaire, Zaire Taylor. Taylor. Missouri back with it a point. Dixon. Oh. <laughs> what a shot. Head men's basketball coach in Missouri Tigers. The fastest 40 minutes in basketball. We hang our hats on our defense. We want to be unpredictable. We want to be disruptive to other teams. We're attacking you both ways. Defensively and offensively. It's attack basketball. In the end. Five minutes of the second half, that's when the pressure starts to have its make mental errors in basketball manifest itself in careless plays offensively, whether it be quick shots, most likely turn of a transition team who also pressures the basketball. They can have a tendency to turn it over as well, but they're a low turn. Rebound by Bowers, second chance with the Tigers. Taylor in the corner. Zaire Taylor puts Missouri back on top. The dribble here, little help and the kick to an open shooter. Singletary loses it. Mizzou will have the last shot. He from Taylor nearly goes. Well, Missouri trying to win on the road for the first time this game. Into JT Tiller in the paint. Tiller posting up Nick O'Corey and taking it right over him. Did a really good job. Taylor for three. Zaire Taylor knocks down the triple. Looked like he was holding his knee a little bit. That's a perfect time for guys to come up with those little injuries, rolling their ankle or sometimes tweaking their knee. Gets them both. Missouri by four. Tigers led by as many as nine in the first. English answers. Mizzou back on top. Taylor, the senior from Staten Island, brings it back. Dinman triple. He was money on Saturday in the win over King. Robertson, his second. Tyru still has two. Dinman missing the three. Tip follow good. That was one of the. May have had a case before the judge on that one. Steals the game. Pretty good. That's all, huh? That's it. Gets them both. Missouri by six. Bowers baseline. Jay is good. That's really good ball movement. Do. He drove a little too deep there. Got blocked by the backboard underneath. Michael Dixon with a baseline. Jay. He's so good with that. Looked terrific job here in the second half on the glass. Denman has like the Missouri Tigers. Denman gets them both. Missouri back up by eight. Six. 
Safford answers with a huge three. And that's the versatility. The bench, let's see, two or three. Hmm. I thought it was a three. Hmm. Thought it was a three, two. Yeah, I thought it was a three. Maybe a half a centimeter between the end of his two possessions. They're not reading the Daily News, by the way. That was the stat sheet team things. You're looking at LaFonzo. I mean, the, the turnover is beginning to add up for Texas Tech. 12, but eight minutes to go. Roberts Safford on the catch. See if they'll you take advantage of that mismatch that they have inside. Denman gets right past Singletary. Yeah, no weak side help there. That was a good top sees that there's no weak side help coming. Attacking the glass. Nice little layup off the glass and in. Protect. Wow, huge free throws. I think that's six that they haven't gotten here in the second half. Denman comes back with a big three. Missouri up. Went out very far away from it. Second half. English is slow to miss. Following his miss. Off the glass. Kim English. English on the dribble. Offensive. Is it offensive? No, it's I defensive foul. The yep. as well. The weak side, the strong side defender didn't get this fast enough. Didn't get planted. Good call by the baseline referee. Pretty did winning at Iowa State. Oh, 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 oh. That's great effort by English trying to come up with that possession. The energy expended going over the top of the fans, flipping over completely. <laughs> That's fantastic effort by that young man. I'm glad he's okay because there's a lot of areas back there that he can get injured. Two shots. Both teams in the double bonus from here on out. English sophomore for group does Missouri. But the Red Raiders, they're awfully good themselves. English gets the first. 74% fans in the cup and finishing that shot either. Much better on that rotation. Fingers hit the cup. Fingers in the cup, man. Robertson. Doesn't take the shot. Reese does. Tech's glad he did. Five point game minutes ago. Tech gets a steal off the inbound. Reese again. Two point game. And CB, that's a perfect time to shoot that. Putting the pieces together on back to back possessions. I tell you, this kid, when he plays, when he's not. Indecisive have been really good blocking shots as well. Denman gets a second free throw, two possession game. Pack. Robertson blocked by Bowers. And that's really a great defensive play by the listed around 5'11. I think it's probably around 5'8. <laughs> and getting to the basket, a little guy like that, you block that shot and foul when he came up with the possession. Ramsey gets the first. Into the front court, triple. O'Connor okay, knocks it down. Back to a two-point game. Five seconds, three made threes. To make this a thriller down the stretch. <laughs> stretch, huge. Two-possession game. Tech has Tiller, trouble getting it in. Into the corner, English, back to Tiller. No call. Missouri turns it over. Here comes Singletary. Robertson hammered by English. So Robertson will go to the line with 15.8 and a chance to tie it. Yeah, Dixon. A, what a nice little pump fake to draw the foul to get to the line. Robertson will have a chance to tie it. Wow. Robertson, junior guard from Plano, Texas, shoots 83% from the free throw line. <laughs> Their team has a timeout. Got to force everything to the basketball. Don't give up anything on the backs. No back cuts. Tiller for the win. Overtime again in Lubbock. That's an excellent job by the Red Raiders. Not giving up any dribble penetration. Forcing them to shoot a contested jump. Duke Edsel says. I'm ready to tip this overtime off. Let's get this underway. 
Mizzou wins the opening tip of overtime each time out during this overtime period. Denman off the catch, finishes. That's a quick little play that they run a little down. Power game in regulation. Okori turns it over, Tiller finishes. Four straight for Mizzou to start OT. In transition. Robertson. Robertson, scoreless for three straight quarters against Oakland prior to that. Six turnovers versus UTEP. Didn't score in the first half tonight. 22 to the overtime. Ramsey gets them both. Missouri back up by three. Those are huge free throws. Robertson again. In. Denman. Answers. <laughs> it's, a, it's a shootout here down in Texas. Confidence to shoot it from beyond the NBA three-point arc and to knock it down. English gets a spin. Have been tough withstanding this challenge from Texas Tech. Well, they've been around for a while, especially with Tiller's leadership. Nice. Cutting Reese. That's a great read by Robertson in transition. Could see. And he loves late game situations, so we'll see how he performs. Missed the first. Didn't finish it by holding his hand up there. So he's got to leave it up there and let the ball go through the net. Shorted that one, but he's fortunate. Missed them both. Did miss it. Mizzou ball by one. Tech fouls. Jenkins commits the foul. O'Corey, a 71% foul shooter, misses them both. In the overtime, when it's late game situations like that, you got to be able to rebound the basketball, be strong with the basketball. Missouri follows the advice. Tigers by three. Tech still has a chance to tie it. O'Corey's looking for Robertson, hounded by Denman. Singletary to tie it. Big rebound by Mizzou. Dixon will be fouled. A chance to make this a two possession game with three. That shot. And Robertson again has been great. Second half and in this overtime for him, not Guy is, and get him the basketball. Dixon gets them both. Five point game, three seconds left. And Missouri will escape from Lubbock with a road win, 94 to 89 in overtime. Tigers over the Red Raiders, winning on Texas Tech's home court. Well, Tech comes back from 11 down to force it to overtime. Mizzou wins it in OT. For Lafonso Ellis and our entire ESPNU crew, I'm Carter Blackburn. Coming up next, it's Sports Center U. For more, log on to ESPNU.com. The preceding has been an exclusive presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. In overtime, Missouri. Three days later, Mizzou headed to Norman, Oklahoma to face the Sooners. The Tigers jumped out to a 10-0 lead and led 32-27 at half. Lawrence Bowers had 15 points and 10 rebounds, but the Tigers lost by five. The Nebraska Cornhuskers visited Mizzou Arena on January 23rd. The Tigers welcomed them with a 70-53 win. Miguel Paul led the team with 15 points. Zaire Taylor added 12, and Justin Safford grabbed 11 rebounds to win their 31st consecutive game at home. Next up for Missouri, a showdown with border rival Kansas. The Tigers were no match for one of the nation's best teams, as Kansas won 84 Okay. Thanks, Mike. Somehow we showed up at the wrong place, but it's the right place. We're, we're actually in Columbia, Missouri, rather than Ames, Iowa. Ames is a wonderful place, but we were there last week. Uh, right now, the situation is a 31-game home winning streak by the Missouri Tigers. Is uh, fan. English already has 10 points. Kim has really been on fire. Two up, three from beyond the arc. Three points for Ramsey. Five. Steve Moore was the man with the interception. Dixon for three. Oh boy, this time last year, he was the Missouri State High School Player of the Year. And Coach Ford says, I don't like what I'm seeing here. Let's call a timeout. Take a look at Ron. This is what I mean. Steals or turnovers that stay in play. And that's why Missouri thrives on them. Good ball movement leads to the jump shots. 
And for a team that struggles, deals are turnovers that stay in play. And for the Missouri Tigers, it's going to usually lead to easy offense. Where would you need a point guard in this league to play against? But a team like Missouri that presses. Nice give and go. Oh, boy. Yep. Give the assist to Mark Taylor. Wanted the bounce pass. Got it back in the quarter. Now here's Kim English. And he hit another one. That's now 14 points for Kim English. Allows Missouri to come with this pressure. And there you, you go. There's the steal. Bowers. Highlight oh, reel. It baskets in the offense, and it sets up your press. Gully being taken out of the ball game now. Here is what Travis Ford is going to look, Ron, when you set up that pressure and you get a steal and it leads to a basket, it brings this crowd to its feet. Last year, Moses just picked up his third foul. And, and, and honestly, Ron. Dixon. Who came in slumping from behind the arc is starting to knock him down from deep. Career high, 11 minutes against Kansas State. And three points and uh, a couple of rebounds. Denman. Yeah, talk about how hot he's been in his last two back and contesting that shot by Page. Well, Denman on the wing. It was a good idea by Taylor. Nice job uh, by Page of filling the gap. And Denman again. But he is this kind of shooter. You talked about their team now. They're making it noisy for Manello. And it is blocked by English. And the ball knocked back to Anderson. He got it. It's a two-pointer. Big basket, Ron. You like to go into the half, cutting this lead to single figure. On the rim for forever. So 42-34, our halftime score, Missouri on top. And now let's join John Saunders in the studio for the UPS Halftime Report. John. Well, he, he thinks they can't keep it up. And there's another example right there. Boy, did not use the glass this time. The tip back up by Bowers. All five players touch it. Well, and look at this right here. Two Cowboys collide. Zaire. See, Ron, Missouri has gone a little bit cold to start this half. So you're, you're, they're playing into Oklahoma State's hands. But you must grab the rebound. It's not letting up on that fastest 40 minutes of pressure defense on, on the goal. That's a three-pointer by Bowers. He's falling into the trap now. They were making threes early. That one better go. Kim English. Seven suspended. Not there. Rebounded by Moore. Got plenty of time. Taylor for three. How many times do we see the open three come off an offensive rebound? Defense is scrambled. Or who's not really an offensive threat. Silver knocked the ball a moment away there from uh, Ramsey. Three-pointer Zaire Taylor. Did they call him at graduation? Oh. Mr. Big Shot? Listen, folks, last year, stolen, and Ramsey on the reverse. Keith Ramsey. Back to a nine-point ball game. I know it's elementary, but when Missouri scores, it sets up our turnovers that stay in play. Take a look at this now. Watch how they're... The basket is made, allows to set up their press. There's a steal by Ramsey and the easy basket, and it allows them to jump right back. Young guards. Here's Denman. Boy, the Cowboys have done a great job in rocketing back, but this time it is Dixon. It's that all five players can touch it because other than Moore right now, everybody else is a perimeter-oriented player. Dixon. Oh, boy. And he got up and relinquished his seat. His eye is still very, very painful to him from uh, getting raked across the eye just a second ago as Moore will score the basket. Gully and Dow getting a chance, all three freshmen. Boy, way outside. Good heavens. Denman shot that one from about one. Oh, and at the run. other end, nobody back in transition, and Stafford would score it. Now in the second half, look how slow the transition, Ron, is by the Cowboy defense. 
when the guy that was down there quickest and running the hardest to try to help out was Pilgrim. And uh, thank goodness he was not hurt, but he went into the photographers over there. And uh, a couple of those folks were guarding their limbs. Half court pressure. He had a really good ball game against Texas Tech. He had 11.7 boards and four steals. But he is showing his worth this afternoon. And how about this guy? Ron Depp. This crowd is standing, and I mean, they are showing some kind of appreciation. Watch Pilgrim now. He's got to release it. Safford this time. Beauty of watching this team. We've seen it over three years with Mike Anderson. Games 14 today on ESPN and ESPN2. I hope Sean White's okay. He uh, took Boy, I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. And that was a practice. Miguel Paul, the 6'2 sophomore out of Lakeland, Florida. Inside pass and the jam home by Bowers. Now this young man, Bowers, is the epitome. By the time he leaves Missouri, he will be a star. Young man that played at St. George's High School in Memphis. Plays the piano. Sings in the choir. Well, he's the most complete player that they have, and the coaches say that readily. Yep. And but yet you got a guy here that is house. <laughs> this foul is on Moses. His and at the other end, the tip. Safford. Safford made the play on one end, ran the force him to drive in the offense because they create so many extra possessions. English. Well, I said he's fresh and he looks. Because you're not relying on one guy to get you 20 points. Well, you every can't, night. can you? No, no, not the way they play. And, and that's the yeah, that's the thing. People really, you have. To, he had uh, 14. Yeah, and the, and the point is, you know what? Rolls off his back because. This is a team that really you don't rely on one guy to get you. Tigers about to extend that record to 32 straight here at Mizzou Arena. Great nice play. look yep. and Ramsey open. Bowers gets I don't know exactly what you're going to think. You say, you know what? He looks a whole lot like Keaton Page. <laughs> he averaged uh, six and a half a game, a three and a half assist, and then he uh, transferred to Kentucky for his three remaining very good K State at Bramlage. And tonight, you'll get an opportunity to see if Kansas is the shot at the best at the buzzer. The 20 the 35 second shot clock is what went off, and now the final horn. So 32 straight for the Missouri Tigers. Siena also with 32, and final score. Missouri 95 and Oklahoma State 80. Now for more of this game, Tony. Missouri came into the game against Texas A&M with a 32-game home court winning streak. The Tigers trailed the Aggies by as many as eight in the first half until this three-pointer from Justin Safford tied the game at 33. Mizzou led most of the second half but couldn't score for more than 10 minutes. And the Aggies won by three. We win that Texas A&M game. We'll probably finish second place in the Big 12. Not to mention, we still keep our home winning streak. How about this? A line at the turnstile here at the Coors Event Center in Boulder, Colorado. Yeah. Well, J.T. Tiller is known as his defensive end, and what we're looking for this afternoon is leadership. When you go on the road, you need a senior to lead the way. The matchup for... For the Colorado Buffaloes, they're starting five featuring Tomlinson, Relford, Burks in the backcourt along with Higgins. At Missouri, though, a perimeter shooting team like to shoot a lot of threes. Relford got a hand on that pass. English, a long three, and he buries it. Tigers lead the conference in three-point shots. Inside, they work the ball to Ramsey. Count the basket and a foul on Relford. 
and how different Missouri looks this time. And they have been looking to find guys and a good pass, easy finish for Ramsey. I think that the one thing for both these teams, and here's with the Tigers, but I think it's fair to say that both teams probably lacking a dominant big man. Well, both are at the bottom of the heap when you talk about rebounding margin. Uh, Missouri's 11, uh, they give up seven rebounds. Game, Lawrence Bowers, the sophomore out of Memphis, came up with a double-double in that loss to A&M, 11 points, 10 rebounds. Bowers may be more steady at, from game to game. English on a curl. Three-pointer is good. That's two for two for Kim English from the outside. English has been taking the Buffaloes to school. And we're back after this from your friends at Phillips 66. Point for Colorado that, that the Wednesday night game is still with them. You know, there's not a lot of energy in this building, and they've got fans. Two free throws here for Denman. And Udo has been very good defensively, but... We saw them, and in their zone defense, how long they were in the back line defensively. Here's Denman at the line. A lot of the scoring coming from the line of late. In fact, each team has missed their last four field goal attempts. 0 for 8 over that stretch. And Take it at Missouri, as some teams try to do, take it to the rim. Denman's three rattles home. The most consistent outside shooter for the Tiger team is Marcus. The process, which all coaches have to do now. Moore. Tough shot for Moore. There's a kid who's really developing too. Someone who lost carried the ball. Inside they go to Moore again. His shot way short. Good rebound by Ramsey. He is really giving Missouri some effective minutes inside. Start for the Tigers. And he's hit a couple of threes and now seven points for Kim English. And you think with that breakneck pace that Missouri plays at. Weird seeing Tiller out there with number five, isn't it? <laughs> Ramsey, good pass inside. That was a strong pass from Taylor. Yeah, Taylor. English. A runner in the paint that goes. Somewhat circus shots on both ends in Missouri. Side. That's more. For good patience. And a nice step through as he got right around Shane Harris Tunks for Colorado and Missouri taking advantage. We'll have more after this from your friends at Phillips 66. AM, he's having a really fine start here today. Yeah, AM, he was scoreless in only one rebound in 24 minutes, and already in this first half, seven points, three rebounds. He's got three block shots. He's got a steal. He's been all over the floor. He's demanded the basketball. He's finished plays, and defensively, he's been a monster. So he's at University of Washington, out of the Kansas City area, Stevie Burks. Mm -hmm. That turnover, by the way, was the first for Missouri in seven minutes, and English stays hot from the outside. Now, when he goes zone defense against a position. Denman rattles home a free throw. He's five for five from the line. Eight for three for three. The Tigers nine of ten from the free throw line. So now Missouri with their biggest lead of the game. They've upped it to 11 after Colorado got here today. They're shooting 45% from the field, and they're four of six from three-point range. It reminds you a little bit of the home game they had against Oklahoma State. 52%, uh, yeah. like 55% from three. Missouri's got it. Here comes Zaire Taylor. He finds Dixon. And the freshman buries it. Michael Dixon executed it well uh, from Paul Horns. Obviously against a very good team. Denman, long three. Wow. Tigers are just lining it up and shooting it in. And their shooters are getting the shots. And more. Good defense by default. Denman. Boy, a nice floater in the paint. Is he a good-looking player? How about that? When you know is picked off inside. Got three seconds. And that's the way the first half comes to a close. So Burks did his best with 16 first half points to keep Colorado close. But Missouri had two guys in double figures. English and Denman each had 14. Now, going to send you to Doug and Brendan for our Beto Burke Jerky Halftime Report. Came out shooting great. Shot lights out, Dave. And from the outside, five of eight gone to three. It was English. It was Denman. English hit three of them. Denman two for two. Defensively, Ramsey had three blocks. English with another bucket. He had 14 in the first half, as did Mark. Except it probably means, as a player, you're going to play a little more careful, right? Yeah, you have to. You, you've got to protect yourself. Extra pass to Ramsey. Good play by Tiller. And going to the line here, English, and he's been near perfect. We've got 17 minutes left for this game. He scored 15 against AM and now has more than that. Again, when they didn't have him the first half, I thought they missed him desperately. Good 
cut by Tiller. It's what he does best. Tiller's always a mover, likes to go to his right shot. I'm trying to be critical of the young man, but you got to know what your strengths and weaknesses are. English, his strength is shooting threes, especially today, where he is on fire. Points for him. And Missouri now with their biggest lead of the game. Back after this, defender of the game brought to you by Navy. A global force for good, Navy, and Ramsey has been a global force for the Tigers. Four blocks in this game here today. And his presence down low, he has now changed. He's got Colorado ball faking, stopping, not being confident to attack. He's having a career day. English, who we talked about earlier, a streaky shooter, and when he gets on a roll, he will fill it up, and with confidence, he will take it inside, he will go outside. The last one there, hands were down, and all he's doing as a shooter, Dave, is simply measuring the guy. And a rebound, though, taken away by Taylor. Now Denman for three, and he buries another one. He is three for three from three-point range. Uh, their shooters are on fire. I don't know if you consider Burks a big man. If you do, then they've got some more points from their big guys. But Burks really is just more of a shot. Tiller in the corner. This is where he's his best. And into Bowers. Good passing and a good finish by Bowers. Yeah, the numbers don't lie, do they? When you're shooting 29% and your opponent's shooting 49%. Well, it puts so much pressure on you defensively. And, and again, if you think about this week, and you think the huge game are that close. Yep. The bad news is you don't finish those yep. games. Ooh, what a, wow, what a play. Tiller and Bowers hook up again. Tigers on a roll. Tiller right on the money. And Bowers uh, a high flyer. For my That's games. where I think going to the basket. Oh, what a play. Pretty. That's unselfish. Oh. A 14 week off. They don't play till next Saturday. They go on the road to Kansas State. Man, Missouri uh, finally gets a basket. And they'll start clapping, yelling. The wake up call came at 10 minutes to 4 mountain time, but then Missouri comes right back. So English with 20 points today. Really? Taylor, as a defender, you're kind of standing there thinking, you know what, the guy probably won't run me over. They just keep going, keep attacking. When they slow it down, sometimes they look for someone in a half court set, and they don't get it. Decision, but you want input. And another good move by Safford to the basket. Good play by Denman. Denman, uh, check out the day that. Marcus Denman had for Mizzou. Well, another guy that has come in the lineup this afternoon and is five of seven from the field, four of six beyond three-point line. Comfortable shooter, comfortable score. Three and double figures. He has 20. English 21, and Keith Ramsey with 10 to go along with seven rebounds. And the foul here was ruled into one of the officials. They heard it. They called the tip cut. And a cut on the inbounds play. And a new career high Martin now Martin. for Mark. Wow, what a nice Martin. give and go. Beautiful play again. Denman. That's just basketball. I, it's simple basketball. You tough lost it all. Yeah, it is because it takes you back a step. As you go back mentally, we've got to be in every, We're not good enough to just show up. Even though we play right. Kansas well, we just can't show up and think we'll be is back from that first home loss with back-to-back -back wins at Colorado and home versus Iowa State. Highlights in a conversation with Coach Mike Anderson next on This Week in Mizzou Basketball. Week for your team. Well, I'll tell you what, we went out on the road, first of all, to Colorado, and I thought we'd probably play one of our more complete games in conference play in terms of defensively and shooting the basketball. And then had a chance to come back home and uh, and try to make amends for what took place from the A&M game, and, and we were able to, to pull out a win. It's efficient. Totals continue, and Mike, especially at home, you had dropped one uh, more than a week ago against Texas A&M, so I know you were anxious to get back to those winning ways against an Iowa State team visiting. Yep, no question. I think our guys were more so, and I mm -hmm. thought you even saw it in their play. I thought they came out, and uh, they were excited to play, and I'm sure our fans were excited to see them play, and they wanted to kind of erase that memory of that uh, A&M game. Yep. The Tigers had won three in a row versus Iowa State. Now you can make it four. Who is that masked man there, J.T. Well, Taylor? That, that masked man started out, <laughs> didn't last long. But, 23 uh, seconds, I think. 23 <laughs> seconds. And, of course, Kimmy English picked up his second foul early on. Right. And so Marcus is inserting. He comes out and knocks down the three. And uh, 
it was JT on the attack, uh, push it up the floor and uh, got some transition basket. And that's that's what we're gonna, and that's a part of the attacking. We're gonna attack you defensively, and then we're gonna attack you offensively. And you saw a great illustration of that. Well, it sure wasn't. And how comforting is it for you when? Uh, obviously, I know you like to see the Tigers hit the offensive glass. There was Safford scoring, but when English gets two fouls, Mike, in the first two minutes, but Marcus Demon comes right in for him. Well, I think it's, it's a good that you got a guy that can come in. There's Marcus on the little flip with the left hand <laughs> on a great pass from J.T. Tiller. You teach him uh, this shot? Uh, well, I, I tell you what, he's a scorer. <laughs> wow. Scores, they know how to score. <laughs> I mean, there's high off the backboard, then that's way up near the tip top of the backboard. It fell for Marcus. And, of course, Iowa State can put the ball in the bucket. There's Gilstrap. There's there Marcus Gilstrap, very good player. There's J.T. Tiller doing what he does. Lawrence Bowers attacking the glass. You notice when we attack the basket, it's easy for guys to rebound because they know when the shot's going up. There's Lawrence Bowers getting in position, and, and as I say, he just has a knack for putting that ball in the hole. Yeah, your guys go get it. Bowers, 10 points, 12 rebounds. How about the Denman delivery to Dixon? Boy, that's good to see there. You got a guard streaking down, and Denman makes the nice bounce pass to him. This is really pretty execution on a hop, and Dixon finishes it off, and boy, you get from one end of the floor to the other quickly. Well, we like doing that, <laughs> and here we are, Zaire with some great hands, uh, gets the steal. Lawrence Bowers, he knows how to finish it. Yeah, he knows what to do with it, all right. Tigers maintaining a slim lead throughout the first half. In fact, Mizzou led by five at halftime, 28-23. Here we go, second uh, period of play, and J.T. Tiller really got going offensively. We're talking about slashing and cutting to the hole. There's JT with the push up to Kimmy English, and now you can see there's a good flow to the game for, for our Tigers. Kim anxious to get going after just playing a, you know, less than two minutes with foul trouble in the first half. Gilstrap keeping Iowa State around. He had uh, 16 for the Cyclones, but there's that inside out game you talk about. Uh, JT knocks the shot down. P Kimmy penetrates to the baseline, kicks it back out. Uh, here Dixon using his quickness, and that's a very good finish for a freshman. Sure was. 44 39. It was kind of that type of. Point spread for Missouri, about a five-point lead most of the way, and the defense doing its thing. Tiller to the rack, but Safford the follow. It's a great follow-up by Justin Safford uh, after the steal by uh, J.T. Tiller. Another good look at him. J.T. is so strong. Didn't quite finish that one, but again, your guy's really following up those misses with putbacks, and, and the defensive work here is impressive. That's what we talked about, the defense. And there's J.T. Tiller mm. doing what he does, attacking the basket, but it was created from our defense and you know our state wouldn't go away no one thing about them when you got a guy like Craig Bracken there he is finishing on a the dunk there uh, uh, the great thing about it they never did uh, take the lead there's no. Kimmy with a big shot I think we're up three and he has a big shot uh, coming around on the top of the key there exactly right Bracken's had a double double that dunk pulled him within one with four minutes to go but then Kim English with your team up three at the time in the final uh, moment or so hit that big three to stretch it out to six and that really J.T. Tiller, despite that injury at Colorado, he scored four points, had six assists. Then in the home win versus Iowa State, Tiller slowed, showed rather that nothing can slow him down. He led Mizzou with a season-high 17 points and uh, had a three-point basket along the way. MEM is the state's number one provider of workers' compensation insurance. High gain, seconds left. Kim English at the free throw line. If you want crunch time, here it is. When it comes to hoops, Kim English has no hesitation. That's great effort by English. That's and he doesn't pause when projecting his play. Effortless. Smooth. Prolific. The greatest ever. When I'm all done, not now. His confidence projects clearly. I mean, anybody knows him knows that he thinks highly of himself, and rightfully so. English is more than just the mouth of the Mizzou basketball team. He's also one of the emotional leaders. During a game, you can find him pumping fists, slapping fives, and landing in laps. He's a guy, you know, that gives everything he has when he steps on the floor, you know, and just the, the motion. You know, you see out of him, it kind of, you know, amps you up yourself. But English hasn't always found it easy to express himself. Bang from several steps beyond the line. I had a girl name and I stuttered. So that was like a lose-lose situation. First, everybody laughing because a boy named Kim. Then now everybody laughing that I can't even get my name out. I mean, kids are going to be kids, and that's, that's part of life, man. I think it makes it stronger. And I think it made him stronger. Strength English says he needed while growing up with a speech impediment. 
He says he can't watch an online interview from when he was in high school. So it was nice to just come here and put on the show for the fans who haven't who hasn't seen me in a year. He's asking a question about Missouri and I'm stuttering crazy. Like man, man from Baltimore and the under I dog, you want to help establish a program. So he credits basketball with rewriting his life and he didn't start that chapter until he was 13 years old. I picked up basketball because I could just play. I didn't have to do too much talking. Like when you're outside playing, you got to do a lot of talking. Talk who the baddest, talk who that's, talk who that, but in basketball you just play. So we played and practiced basketball and talking. For English, they are a lot alike. You got to like practice talking. Like just talk, read a book out loud. Or Say whatever you hear said on the radio, just say it again. Just talk to your mother, talk to your father. And those free throws, he made them. It is, the young man calmly hits. Because practice makes perfect. I mean, God gave me a mouth, gave me a voice, so I'm going to use it. For this week in Mizzou basketball, I'm Eric Blumberg. He joins me. Thank you, Keith. How are you doing today? Good, much so. Pretty good, thank you. You ready for the fastest 40? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Where are you from? Murfreesboro, Tennessee. What high school did you go to? Seagull High School. What do you like to do off the basketball court? Uh, sleep. If you could <laughs> play any other sport, what would it be? Football. Uh, what's your favorite movie? Baby Boy. Favorite TV show? Martin. What is a hidden talent of yours? Uh, I do a lot of things. I really don't just have one. <laughs> if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Fly. Okay. And on your team, who's the best dancer? Steve. Best singer? Miguel. <laughs> and who do you admire the most on your team? Uh, Zaire. Okay. Thanks for joining us. The road against Baylor. Missouri fought back and took its first lead with 47 seconds left. But it wasn't enough. And Baylor won 64-62. The Tigers fell to 6-4 and four in Big 12 play. We won't be able to see it now, but hopefully next January, where we're, when we're in a tough Big 12 game and, and it'll click. We were here before. We were down one at Baylor and, and we need this rebound right here. Guys, come on, let's get this rebound. I think the key is now is to use those experiences, you know, because it's going to happen again, uh, especially in this year. So hopefully the young guys that we had that were sophomores uh, have went through the wars and even a guy like Justin, you know, they've been through enough of those games. Uh, that. You know, it'll pay off the next time we're in those. those. Alrighty, John, thanks very much. We update you on Texas and Mizzou. Early on in this one, the Tigers leading the long. Welcome to Mizzou Arena. Ron Franklin, Bill Raftery, packed house in a very noisy house. And the story for Mizzou. Pittman, as we said, on the bench for two fouls. Also, up six from the charity line. And that's one of the problems Everett Barnes has had, uh, making free throws. I mean, it's just such a liability when you don't convert the freebies. Got to cut quickly. Well, no one handles these saying, get me the ball. <laughs> you think it was? <laughs> I'll tell you. Now they're understanding what it takes to be an accomplished player at this level. You know, a lot of... A lot of Coaches try to him like a family one point ball game. Is he not as quick right now? Ooh. Two pointer just inside the line. See, the 2 3 zone now slows them down a little. And look at what Rick Barnes is doing as well. Of course, the foul problem. Bowers nice. got by Juan Maney, and the ball tipped in, may have been tipped in by Texas. I think 32 31. Missouri on top. Clock is at two, falling away. Brown missed the jumper. Plus basketball halftime report with J.W. Stewart. Counter. J.B. is what they call him, Jacobin Brown. And at the other end, the distance, Kim English. There's no. There is some contact. Nice curl. Safford. Just pace it. Tied at 38. Under 17 minutes to play. Zaire Taylor on the run gets it. That open middle. Tied again, this time at 40. English for three. Woo! Wow. Now if he heats 
B3, 43. I'll go under. Oh, my goodness. He is. But he make him pay, but they get easy look at the follow. Keith rams it. Rebounded English. English has had a really good start in the second half. He sure has. And boy, going wire to wire, too. Wow. Talk about a good start. Oh, a little kiss with some English. Well, the ball, the length of the floor. And this is not typical Rick Barnes defense. Uh, just not the reaction you'd like. And he just took his time under control. Able to English with the first, and he gets it today bill they talk about he's a gym rat take a look at this How underhand about... way on the other side of midcourt <laughs> and he just swishes it hey, <laughs> a bowling touch oh my. that'll prove it and they sure are he has been terrific and he spends a lot of time in this building nope. well, no numbers go. got two on one english with the alley-oop and the score and a foul they call it on bradley well, you can read it. They yep, I think it is. Uh, but run into the rim. You got to fake and recover. James just froze, opens it up. And that's one if you're Bradley. And Texas normally very good in that area. Dixon converts the three-point play. Back to a throws it right into the arms of Dixon. And Dixon at the other end for the easy two. You are not going to catch that kid. The sky on the floor, but he elevates, and then a little blow by. Tough. Lawrence Bowers goes to the line. Bowers with two points on the evening, make it three. Bowers, just because of the cut, right into the gut of the deep areas. Dixon. Wow, just a ball screen. No step up. Taylor got by with that one, and the ball now is called for goaltending at this end. So that makes it tough. You got to play him honest, and yet they understand where to put it on the deck. So English continues to play an intentional foul. Uh, and the one thing Missouri does, they get after you defensively, but. The Killer gets that one. 65 57. Drop step. Pretty. Boy, well, set him up nicely, didn't he? Taylor talking to us. I mean, they know they're putting it all out there. Taylor in English. It was a turnover. Look at these kids at They want it more. They want it more, Ryan. Sets of hands. Nice luck. Ramsey again. Fans loving every bit of it, but it's all about effort. Ramsey, square, effort. Incredible. Just doing a great job. That's what happens when you press this team. Of course, men's college basketball presented by Five Hour Energy on ESPN Saturday. Taylor gets the first one. Vandy very good at it. Well, Kentucky tries to make a sweep over the Vanderbilt Commodores. Respect for each other. Uh, English and Ramsey, huh? they have just been terrific. Boy. So we got 121 to play. 11 point lead, make it a dozen now. Time out, Tigers! And I'll tell you, majority of that came in the second half. The 18 points, 13 of them came in the second be the other guy. He I was think, the yeah. blue collar guy that just kept coming back and coming back and uh, doing good things as Tiller gets that one. And it's. And he just has. Well, have we seen this all night? I did that the sixth the time they've the gotten a the run out. Texas Longhorns, 77. 
So our final score, the Missouri Tigers 82 and the Texas Longhorn 77. For Bill Raftery and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Ron Franklin. Coming up next is more college basketball between Louisiana Tech and Utah State. The preceding has been an exclusive pregame from Logan, Utah. Gentlemen. Three days later, the Tigers traveled to Lincoln to face Nebraska in a rematch. Down by one in the second half, Missouri took the lead off of this Zaire Taylor jumper, and the Tigers never looked back. Marcus Denman, who scored a career-high 24 points, hit five three-pointers in a 15-point win. The 20-7 and seven Tigers hosted Colorado February 24th. Justin Safford scored eight points in the first seven minutes before tearing his ACL. The Tigers shot 64% from behind the arc and MU won for the eighth consecutive time against the Buffaloes. Missouri's defense proved too much for Kansas State in the first half as the Tigers held the Wildcats to their worst shooting percentage in 14 years. But the second half was all Kansas State and the Elite Eight bound Wildcats won by The Missouri Tigers look to rebound. And tonight they'll face Greg McDermott and Hilton Coliseum. Is the magic still alive? We're about to find out. Iowa State Mizzou next. Clones tonight they'll play host to the Missouri Tigers. Tigers trying to pick up conference win number 10 for Iowa State. Disappointing year. Just three and 11. We saw the Cyclones. Yeah, he's been very consistent lately. Had 17 big points against Iowa State in the victory at Mizzou Arena. Seems like he's playing with a lot more sense of urgency here late in the second half of this season as he's finished. Iowa State. Sit back and enjoy it on the Tigers TV network. Tigers looking for conference. Junior got a lot of experience averaging over five assists a game. Bowers checks one from the corner. No good. Tiller there to pick it up. We're tied at two. Oh, that's what you need. Made buckets. You talked about three on one if they hurry up. Now it's even, and Tiller finishes inside. Tigers on top, 4-2. There's English again. That's too strong. Bowers, little ball fake. Off the rebound and gets his first two. He's thinking, thank you very much. Just not quick enough to stay with the young man. So we're tied up at 6-6. Six, six. JT Tiller hits the three, and Tiller has got seven here in the first five minutes plus. Boy, he's stuck with you, and JT, tell her the story so far. Yeah, got seven of the nine points for the Tigers here early, getting out in transition and finishing. Knocks down a three, you see, well scouted is Iowa State, but he's gonna make him come out and guard him. Knocking down seven of nine for Missouri here early, but he's done a great job, really, his whole career, distributing the basket. I mean, English. Tiller looking for his second three, and he's got it. In double figures, J.T. Tiller. Oh. Three on two for Mizzou. Miguel Paul pulls up. 4-2 and got it. Miguel Paul's first bucket of the night. Well, it's done a nice job for Greg McDermott here. Early. Tigers have turned it over four times. Here's Marcus Denman from the baseline. That's a tough shot as he went at the freshman call. So with us on this trip, he's in street clothes, but uh, we were told before the game, that they're postponing surgery at this point. Tore his ACL and his left knee last Wednesday against Colorado. You see what he's done with his points, but injuries a big part of any sport, and this was tough to see Sapper go down like this. Boy, you just hate to see it, and you know, he knew right when he went down, and that ACL is, is not a good one, and you know, when they first said that he might, and it's Iowa State on top by one, Bowers from the corner, no. Tiller kept it alive, yes. and Ramsey is there to clean it up. Well, good. With that seven teams I just mentioned, you could have an eight from the Big 12. Yeah, I think you've got seven solid players as Dixon floats through the teardrop. But he's quick off the floor. He can beat you on the offensive glass. He can shoot the three. English up the other way, and we're going to have a Tiller with ten. For Missouri, English spinning in the lane, gets it to fall. A good under control play. Two for Missouri. And the freshman, Michael Dixon, finishes. He's got four. He averages seven again. A score at half, 31 all, as JT Tiller had 10 points. The Tigers on the season shooting 73% from the line, and now just two of five in this ball game. Tiller spinning all the way in. He's got 12. Well, that's his game. That's his game. Going at his first attempts tonight. He leads the Tigers in scoring this evening. That makes 13. All tournament, and again, 
lot to be played uh, between now and this weekend. I'll tell you one, four are good shooters. The Tigers are just two for 11 from behind the arc. The assist there by Denman. Getting at home is not a bad loss. Third in NCAA tournament team. Vandy and Richmond are both tournament teams. Finally, Dixon gets one to go down. And that was a two. His foot was on the line. For the lead, Tigers on top. That's Missouri Tiger basketball right there. Points off of turnover. A lot more active, a lot more deflections on the defensive end. Denman for three, and he's got it. The third three tonight for Mizzou. Denman will try another three. Yes, Marcus Denman. Man, is shooting at Tyler State. Yeah, the way the NCAA rule works is you have five years to play four seasons. Today that there's some projections for the NBA draft that had Gilstrap in the second round. Yeah, let's hope to coach. Tiller all the way in and he's got 16. Well, he is so good. Kim English back in the ball game. Christopherson not leaving Kim. Bowers from the head of the key and he hits the two. Tiller at the line. Hits the free throw. Keith Ramsey without foul. Taylor all the way in. No good. Put back is good. Keith Ramsey. Iowa State with it. Under a minute to have to go. Gilstrap all the way in. Cyclone by two. Well, look at Ramsey. Does a nice job avoiding the foul. Gets the block. And then runs to the other end hard and gets the tap in basket. Terrific play by Keith Ramsey. On the floor, interesting to see English not in there. Denman got it. Oh, what a tough, tough shot. Eyes in between the backboard. The Rackens was in trouble. And watch Denman just goes in strong enough just to get the ball up. And watch the ball, it just dies. There in between the rim and the uh, backboard. Watch this, it just dies like a knuckleball and falls in. Well, Scotty Tiller whistled for his second. Bracken's at the line, 75%. Cyclones on top. English has had a rough night, no threes, and only five points. There he is with the towel on his to go. The first available shot, Dan. First good one you can get. See if they can spread the floor, maybe get Denman driving to the basket or Tiller. Zaire Taylor in. Wild Woo! shot, but it falls. <laughs> 61 all. Boy, he's hit some big ones in his two years. Wow. And that's a big one. How about the circus shot? Four guard lineup. You've got a mismatch. Goes right into his body. Oh. Flips it up over his head. High off the glass. What a finish by the big shot maker, Zaire Taylor. It's our pizza delivery of the game. America's favorite for pizza, pasta, and wings. Thank Pizza Hut. Partner, that's his first bucket. What a big one. Yeah, absolutely. And you expect that from your senior. Hit a big shot at home against Kansas State with big three. Of course, the... We got Tiller matched up here with Garrett. Under 10 to go. Down to eight. Garrett, Christopherson. Ooh, almost a steal that time. With two, a strip. And Bowers will let it fly, and we are headed to overtime here in Ames, Iowa. 61 all between Missouri and Iowa State. What a game, what a game. Great defensive set that, that time, and I thought JT Tiller. Tiller in the foul. See, he kind of comes yeah. back, tries to draw the referee's attention, but uh, they didn't bite on that. And again, with this lineup, you can switch because you got so much versatility, and uh, they, essentially they get no shot, a steal, and a desperation shot by Bowers with the buzzer. Well, you're right. What a great job. Yeah, by Ramsey, Tiller, and Marcus Denman. Tip is controlled by Garrett and Iowa State. Here we go with overtime from Hilton Coliseum. It looked like no too strong. And a finish with the left hand by Denman. Well, that was a much needed basket. Good heads up play by Marcus Denman and the finish with the left hand. Christopherson blocked. Kept alive by Missouri, Taylor, and this will be for the tie. Dixon lays it up and in, 65 all. To go, every possession now is so important on both sides. The tip there by Marcus Denman. Well, that effort, and then watch Ramsey's effort to keep it alive, and Taylor with the presence of mind to keep his head up and throw it to the streaking Michael Dixon. Double figures, JT Tiller, 17. There's Denman with that block. Look, there's one good play, two good plays, three good plays. 
Right there. There's one, there's two, and there's three. The pass ahead, and Michael Dixon does the rest. When you talk to the coaching staff of the Tigers, as you know, Scott, they keep a stat that's not an official stat, which is deflections. 15 seconds. Zaire Taylor in the lane. Yes! He hits another big one. What a tough, tough shot. He's Taylor. Seven seconds. Christopherson. Oh, and he threw it away. And he had him wide open. There was Dendy. Tigers now plenty of time with 6.1 seconds to go. He was wide open. He was wide open. Look at that. There's no Tiger oh. in the picture. What if you dish it off or do you take it in? So Zaire Taylor with two huge buckets. That's the one against Brackens, the circus shot over the extended Brackens. That forced the overtime. And then watch this one in the lane over the taller Dendy. Really didn't look up at the basket. Short little jump hook, one-handed wow. to Taylor. Taylor with it. Nobody there. Down to two. Zaire Taylor for the win. Yes! And Missouri wins it! They come out of Ames with the win. Conference win number 10. Zaire Taylor, the hero. Regulation and in overtime. Was there any question who they were going to? 84 feet end to end by that young man. High off the glass. You will not see three tougher shots than the three shots that he hit here in the last couple of minutes. Take a look at it. 6.1 goes all the way down. Nobody stops the ball, and he goes high off the glass over Gilstrap right as the buzzer goes down. I mean, just perfect execution. I hate to say it, Tiger fans, but does that look like Tyus Edney? I know. Singing the same thing. Wow. Zaire Taylor. You know, you've got all these good scores, and you figure when the game's on the line, this might be the guy you want with the ball. Well, you know, he's not a big scorer, but he does have that tendency and the courage to take the big shot at the end of the game. That's not something you coach. It's not something you teach. It's something you recruit. It's mental toughness. Cyclones, a uh, devastating loss. It's been that kind of year. Zoo wins by two. Updating number two, Kansas at Missouri, and the Missouri Tigers playing well. Watch Lawrence Bowers with the follow and the big time slam. We'll take you to that game once this one winds down. Let's send you back to Philadelphia, Gus and Greg. Welcome all of you who watched that thrilling West Virginia win. We'll be back in Missouri in a moment. Made a game summary here at Mizzou Arena. Sold out second meeting between these two. Early on it was Missouri forcing turnovers and Cole Aldridge doing it inside a little bit. Lawrence Bowers has stuffed the stat sheet. He's been everywhere. At 20 minutes of play in Columbia, Kansas leading Missouri by a score of 40 to 24. I am two senior guards. Ramsey, the other senior in the starting lineup. Here's Kim English. Uh, he's got a pure stroke. He does, and that's the answer for Missouri. They have to score the ball so they can get into this pressure. You can't press when you're taking the ball out of the net all of the time. Now Bowers worked that weak side glass. Wow, he's having a good game. Here's Taylor at the free throw line. That's five in a row. After fast pace, high octane kind of a game. It can't be delivered as it was in that first half. It's got to be crazy. They've got to make it a little bit like a play. Baseline rejected. Bowers again. He's ever three on three. Nice dish. Oh, tough. Killer gets it. They have to make this game. And then we mentioned West Virginia as well as an outside team. Yes. Ramsey. Got it. Well, you talked about winning four minute increments. How about this second half of the Tigers? Well, it starts with shot making, Vern, because it allows them to get into their pressure. And it also gives you confidence. You need to see that ball go in the basket consecutive times to get yourself going, to get your defense. English gets the first of two. Taylor. They took care of the ball, made a few shots. That's what's going on right now. Kansas has to find a way to get some rhythm. The lineup now with Mo both Morrises out there was pretty effective in the first half because they both can handle the ball pretty Quick hands of Tyrell Reed, but Steve Moore saves it for Mizzou. Jump stop in the lane. Got it and a foul. 
They have clawed and scratched and fought. And the Tigers are back in this one. Acting like Tigers. J.T. Tiller. That's what he does. Get that shoulder down. Get around that defender. At Missouri, and Tiller came with him and will graduate in May. A 16-2 Missouri run. And here he is, hoping to be a coach one day, looking to get a Masters. And that's, uh, that's what it's about. Yeah. To see a young man grow through the opportunity times during this game. He's been very patient and self-controlled, Bernie. He's not tried to force the issue very much at all. And that's four. Well, they basically put the mute button on this sold-out crowd. Yep. Yeah, I think it is 59, yeah. yeah. And actually, this will be, if it holds up, which I think it will. So you can reestablish control of your team. There's an up and under Michael Dixon. You want to win. And you want to do it. You want to be playing good basketball. So each opportunity they get is Tiller finishing transition. Each opportunity. So it makes and sets up for the madness we've come to love and enjoy over the years. Taylor, finally. Zaire Taylor. His first from three. They've shared the wealth. And they are about to sweep Missouri for this year. Here's Denman. That's for two inside the arc. Rebound. Here's Miguel Paul, number three, right side Dixon. Quick jumper for two. Game that came in the Big 12 tournament in Kansas City against the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Coach, we'll kind of get this one out of the way. Then we'll look ahead to bigger and better things in the NCAA tournament. But, you know, as we watch the highlights here, just your thoughts on what was a very difficult start for your team. You got down unexpectedly 26 to 9 in this game. Well, Nebraska came out on fire, and of course, I think our defense wasn't as, as intense as it has been throughout the year. We played Nebraska twice, and I think, uh, as you can see by the highlights, they were scoring layups after layups, spot up shots, and and, and, of course, we didn't have any answers for it. And they had a little cushion there. But here we get good ball movement, and Mike Dixon knocks down a, a perimeter shot. Yep, that bucket made it 26-12. to 12, And uh, your guys are trying to carve into that lead. Lawrence Bowers playing with torn ligaments in his wrist, but really battling underneath. Well, he was battling. And, of course, we dug a hole. And here's JT with a nice pull-up. And, and, you know, we are fighting and fighting and, and, and trying to get our rhythm in the game. There's JT knocking down a three-point shot. And we had opportunities, but it seemed like every time this is what took place. Every time we made a run, they would have an answer. That's Henry knocking down a shot, and there's, I think, Kimmy knocking down a shot. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's, you know, I always say it, it's the coach's responsibility to get these guys ready. And, and that first game is the most important game, and I didn't do a good job of getting them ready. But here's Steve Moore doing what he does, hustling. Yeah, luckily he's okay. He took a hard fall. I think may have uh, hit a camera there on the baseline, but he was okay. Tough kid that he is, and of course you're without Justin Safford. And Miguel Paul uh, really helped you beat Nebraska in the game at Mizzou Arena in the regular season when he had 15, and he and the others are, are trying to claw back in it. You made a dent in that big deficit, but never got as close as you wanted to be. No, no, even going in with that basket at halftime, you got a little bit more momentum coming out, and uh, we needed stops coming out, but uh, again, Nebraska came out and did a tremendous job. There was Marcus Demon knocking down a shot. Uh, we didn't have his many shot, knockdown shots as we needed to. That's Keith with uh, anticipating on defense and a great finish. He uh, he does, uh, I think JT Tiller said it best. He said he's Mr. Fix-It for us, Keith Ernst. I thought that was a great description of Ramsey. He fixes a lot of things <laughs> uh, on our offense and, and defenses as well. And there he is finishing off with the, with the steal. That's Nebraska and that was all night long. It seemed like we were just a half step behind, you know, especially defensively. Yep, and uh, you have Michael Dixon back in his hometown of Kansas City knocks down a three-pointer within 15, and, and folks know better than the count Missouri out was still about 10 minutes to play, but, but I think you said it best. It, it just seemed you were a little bit off defensively for whatever reason in this game. Well, it just seemed like, you know, whatever could go wrong did go wrong. There's JT with a nice uh, deflection and come up with the basketball. And, you know, our bench would normally gives us tremendous productivity off the bench. We only had eight points off our bench. So, so you can see our team is, is still kind of trying to adjust uh, with Justin Safford not being in. There's Lawrence Bowers with a stick back with a tip. Really battling hard. You're within a dozen. Uh, Mr. Big Shot, Zaire Taylor here canned a couple of three-point baskets to get you within 10, Mike, and, and give you a chance with a couple minutes to go. But it was just 
too much to overcome in the end as Nebraska prevails 75 to 60. Only time the Huskers beat was. At almost 10 game and at about 17. So look for some inline to inline pressure. Trying to disrupt Fuck it. Give me English, throws it away. And that's what they want to do in transition. Stick with a block. Rejected and five. Off to the races. And that is what you're going to see from Clemson. Off the deflection, coming down. Good defense right there and going the other way. Zaire Taylor, what a story. This young man started his career at the University of Delaware. Didn't like, so for a brief time he was homeless. He would put on a hood and go to the science lab or the computer lab and just sit. English down the lane. Off balance shot, Ramsey there. For the nice stick back, Keith Ramsey, senior 6'9". He's and now he's an assistant. Well, the second consecutive appearance in the NCAA tournament that is, uh, for the most part, when it's good, it's pleasing to the eye. There's a turnover. And the bank in by Ramsey. So this is the 40 minutes of hell, folks. Now, they've got the ability to come back and play half court D as well. English straight away. And he gets the out. But no one does it with the length, the duration. Offensive rebound, English now. Off the dribble and hits. Give me English. He can hit shots. That allows them to set up their defense. And the same goes for Missouri. Oh, wow. Ooh. Michael Dixon, the freshman from Kansas City. They're really high on him. Shape in this game, folks, because it will be end to end. Young from downtown. Yeah. And that's what Andre Young can bring to the table as well. Ramsey on the move to the bucket. No good. A finish. Jimmy English, 6'6", played at Notre Dame prep. And so the first free throw goes down. CBSSports.com is your analysis and video highlights from every game at CBSSports.com. So Marcus Denman can also knock down some threes. Nine seconds to shoot. Young rises and knocks down another one. That's his third three in the first half. And a long-range jumper. Tiller off the cut and a nice play as JT Tiller is really using screens and, and getting guys to curl for open look. Now Johnson, it's his first shot in the corner. I told you. And Missouri, yes you did, wants to talk it over. 8.55. And I was going to tell you that. That's right, he could shoot it. And here comes Paul. Nice pass. And Tiller with the lay-in. And if the half-court offense is Grant. Inside, 10 turnovers for Clemson. Lead pass in the front court. Great catch. Back. Lawrence Ball. Now the pick and roll. Taylor, he's been quiet offensively. Ramsey three. How about that? Uh-oh. Two-point game, 28-26. The lead. Inside, turnover's been a problem. Outlet, Taylor. He finds ball. That ball didn't even touch the ground. Textbook fast break. Yeah, textbook pressure defense. And Bowers. Is there anybody on that team that can't hit the three? Inside Ramsey and on. Well, at the beginning of this telecast, we told you how important Keith Ramsey was going to be. He needs to get five or more rebounds to keep pace with the team being 17 and five when he does that. And here he is once again on the offensive glass. Use his body, physical game right now. Devin Booker got pushing up in this game. Ramsey averages six points and six rebounds. Makes that free throw. He has 10 in the first half. Johnson strip in the front court. Ramsey to Bowers. Back to Ramsey. Great catch up and in. Wow, he went up high. But how about this, Gus? Missouri wastes no time. You know, on that push right there, you got to shield it any way you can, but you got to go to the basket strong. 
And Bowers gets the first free throw. And then you find shooters or you find cutters. But if you stand around and mess with it on the side, they're going to do exactly what they're doing to Clemson right now. Take it away. Yo, baseline. That's a go. Oh. Um, Booker, no. Denman, he's got Young on him to the bucket, up and in. Beautifully done to tie it at 37. Flip side of it is Missouri knows how to run, but once that ball is loose, in and out, bat it out. Dixon, here come the Tigers of Missouri with numbers. Dixon, oh, beautiful. That's a George Gervin finger roll. Now eight to go. They squeeze him at the midcourt line. He looked like he traveled. Denman three. In and out. Young. And that'll do it. Seven ties. Four lead changes in the first half. And at the end of the first half, we're all knotted up at 39. We'll send you to Greg Gumbel. Their leading score at 14 a game. Baseline Bowers. Good. Bowers. Credit that to the hustle of Trevor Booker on the out-of-bounds play. Bowers, nice look from Ramsey. Booker went and got that ball before it went. Out. English with two to the bucket, pinned on the glass by Booker. Picked up, though, and banked in by Ramsey. He's so energetic. Quick jumper, very athletic. And the big question for Coach Oliver Purnell, he's been very successful, but can he finally do it? Well, obviously... He's gotten teams there. The question is getting over that hump, and that's a huge gorilla. And an even better jump shot. 6-6 inside Denman, nice left hand. A oh, nice job by Marcus Denman in getting it. He sees the opening as soon as Bowers comes to the high post. He puts it on the floor and goes hard to the back. Picks up the dribble, 10 to shoot. English 20-foot pull-up. And he gets the bounce. English exerting a little. He gets a hand on another deflection. Turns into points for Missouri. Kick. Denman. Now English deep in the corner. And hits. Kimmy English. Feeling it. In the corner. Good find. As Denman finds English coming to the corner. Really didn't have any place to go with it. They muscled that ball away from Clemson. Crossover, Denman off the bounce. Pure. Woo. That's a ball play. 52, Missouri. Stick the other way. Offensive foul. You got to come to a jump stop Out of Maryland. control, out of control. And that's exactly what Missouri... And then you lose control. And DeMonte Stitt, that's his fourth foul. That's kind of close. I'm not sure that the defender had stepped out, and he might have been perilously close to the restricted area. Missouri Still. has a team 10 of 14 from the line. Still, with Clemson having troubles getting the ball to uh, Booker, they still have three guys in double feet. And he gets the front end. Continue to drive the ball to the basket. Force the defense to have to guard you in the half court. There's so much in the video right there. A steal by Ramsey. Just took it away. Bowers on the line from Tiller. Clemson's got to feel like they've been struck by lightning. It was so fast on the steal and the conversion. And Oliver Purnell calls a timeout. Largest lead of the game now for Mizzou. So once again, a turnover on an inbound. Can't allow that. It's the defense, the runner up. Ramsey, outlet pass, Tiller over the shoulder. Oh, in. That was a Wes Unsell type outlet pass by Ramsey. Missouri had scored six unanswered. English wide open and hits. Well, as far as shooting percentages are concerned, in rhythm. Long rebound, Tiller picks it up. And look at the quickness, the lateral movement by the Missouri players in going after the rebound. They recognize the three-point shot. If missed, is going to be a long rebound, and Tiller tracks it down. And after the rebound, he attacks. And he adds the free throw. Sends Dixon to the line. Shooting two, gets it first. 
Little explanation other than Booker getting caught up in the moment right now. Remember, he's a senior. Senior urgency. Through the floor, and then they're going to have to find a way to score. Missouri, on the other hand, they've got the luxury to knock down these free throws. Shorten the game. Gaining possession. If they don't have possession. In the front court, Collins. Well, he is so long. You saw he took off outside of the five-point game. Diagonal pass, England. The runner. Up and in count. Wow, is he smooth this afternoon. Fan you're afraid of trading possessions. Here you got Missouri sped up. But there's number. And he has a free throw. Eight-point lead, 79. Take it. Right now, they're just taking their time. Inside, Ramsey, great catch and put in. That was just nicely done, recognizing it's West Virginia on Sunday. Second free throw for English goes down, he has 20. Three possession game, they gotta get a shot up quick. Stead. 82-78. 21 for Stead. Clemson not out of this thing yet. Knock down some shots. And here they go. He pounds it down. I don't understand why no foul. Who blew out Oregon State by 30 in the first game of the day. And Ramsey. He has been wonderful. And look at their defense. They go from defense to offense so quickly. West Virginia can ill afford to have an 0 for 11 start in the first half as he young in the corner. Tanner Smith, English with a rebound, and that's it. Missouri advances to the second round as they defeat Clemson, the final 86 to 78. So here's the bracket in the East region: Washington, New Mexico, at three versus 11 by 10 seeded Missouri out of the Big 12. So that's the story from here in Buffalo. For Lynn Elmore, I'm Gus Johnson. Mike, after an evenly played game pretty much through the first half and the second half, you guys started to pull away. What was the key? Well, I thought it was a game of runs. I thought we had our rhythm. Uh, we forced uh, 12. We had 12 steals, 14 turnovers. And I just thought we didn't make any shots and we didn't take advantage of it. But, you know, you got to credit Clemson. Uh, Oliver does a great job. But uh, I thought our bench came in and played well. But Keith Ramsey, he's the catalyst. And, of course, Kimmy got us going. And I thought all our guys really were had the energy today. I think energy was a big difference today. Well, it certainly seemed to be as your guys seemed to be able to kick it up a notch as you went on here in the second half. As far as the offense was concerned, tremendous uh, conversion from defense to offense, converting points. Well, I tell you what, that's our team. Our team, we hang our hats from our defense. And I thought today you saw a classic illustration of you know, up-tempo basketball. I thought our pressure was effective. I thought we attacked on the offensive end, got some of their guys in foul trouble. And I thought that kind of kept them off, off key. But we did a good job on Trevor, on Booker. I, I tell you what, uh, Keith Rams, he had the game of his life. Uh, I know you've seen West Virginia. Is there anything you need to change, adjust? Uh, and playing them going forward? Well, I tell you what, we better get our hard hats on because that's what it's going to be. It's going to be about toughness. I think hard. Uh, their best offense is throw it up there and go get it. They have some great, great players. Uh, Butler, awesome player, but uh, jo uh, uh, Huggins has done a great, great job, and, and I'm sure uh, their team, it's a big challenge for us, uh, but we've got to go get some rest, first of all. Kim, we were talking about the offense, and you played a major role in that pulling up and taking threes. Is that something you guys work on, getting the threes in transition? Yeah, definitely. We, uh, we take pride in being unpredictable and having any, like we don't have one star player. It can be anybody at any, any given night. A lot like like West Virginia. And the night I think Lawrence Bowers, JT Tiller, and, and I got, got hot at some time, but I think that Keith Ramsey played huge, defensively and, defensively and offensively. Well, you mentioned West Virginia, your next opponent. Tell me what you know about them, and is there anything that you guys have to do in order to match the difference in the games? They like to grind it out. They've got some size. You guys like to go up and down. Well, Coach Huggins is a great coach, and uh, they're a gritty, hard-working team, and uh, they're big. Not big like seven-footers, but they're big with their point guard the same size as their four-man. So I watched them in the, the Big East uh, Championship, and they're a, a gritty team, but hopefully we can um, just disrupt uh, what they want to do. Doing just uh, like Coach said, uh, survive in advance.
Well, go get some rest. Coach said that you're going to need it going forward on Sunday, but terrific game. Thank you, Mr. Elmore. Tenth seed, Missouri. Second seed, West Virginia. Let's take you there live. Gus Johnson and Len Elmore. Washington, who knocked out Steve Alford. And third seed at New Mexico. A look at the lineup. Keep your eye on Keith Ramsey. He had 28 and 4 in his fourth season. Last year, they advanced to the Elite Eight. They're trying to make this a repeat performance as the Mountaineers control the ball. Well, again, you talk about the fastest 40 minutes in basketball. You take a look at what they were able to do against Clemson. You know, either met or exceeded their season there. Missouri only turning the ball over nine times while forcing 20 from Clemson. Butler deep in the corner. Seven game win streak for West Virginia. They've allowed opponents only 60 points a game. Butler again for three. And it's a very important part. It's not the case here. They were down 10 to nothing to Morgan State in their first game and then blew them out. English and Jimmy English who had 20 points in their first round. In the finals, inside, knocked away, picked up Tiller, and they find Bowers. Well, one thing Missouri will not do is quit on a play. Missouri team, they call him the Tasmanian Devil because of his frenetic pace and constant movement. Makes a great basketball. During the postseason, they were on the bubble, but won the Pac-10 tournament. Meanwhile, JT Tiller knocks down a 15-footer out there. Trying to find the right combination that's going to start applying pressure to West Virginia, trying to speed them up. Denman off the mark, but that ball tipped up and in. Looked like Bowers got a hand on it. It's no, tapped out English. He's got Dixon in the front court. Nice catch, Dixon up and in. Lightning quick transition. You take a bag of a lightning quick transition. You take a look right here. The guards are too busy watching. As Dixon, you mentioned before, as fast as they come in college basketball, he gets out on the break. Crossover to the basket, up, oh, and in. And now West Virginia wants a timeout. They bring the freshman off the bench. The burner, 6-0 run, one-point game. Moore just coming in off the bench, eight to shoot. Denman can break down the defense. Kicks it out, Dixon three, counter. This little guy came to play today. They get to the basket a lot and they get fouled a lot. Taylor, deep jumper. Got it. Zaire Taylor, very patient in their foot. Comes up short. However, ball hits the floor. Missoula grabs it. Jump ball is the call and it favors the Mountaineers. Now, Taylor. Oh, nice hand up. And Bowers with the lay in. Uh, textbook. English jump shot. Count it. Uh oh. Kimmy English starting to burn it up a little bit now. Ties the game at 25. Starting to break down a little bit as open look. Inside. Butler rejected. Picked up. Taylor. He's got English on the wing and he's five from behind. You got to believe now that this pressure is starting to wear West Virginia down here in the first half. And it's all about the defense, the dribble, the drive, the find, and then the open look by Kim English. The Tigers coming. But here on a defensive play right now, they got a chance for a high percentage shot. Evans blocked. Whoa. Bowers just threw it. And that one deflected off the Mountaineers. They kind of crawl their way back to attack. Flowers. Offensive five. It's a good call. Jim Burr. One of the great officials at all of college. 6.6 to go. Here comes the speedster. Dixon quickly over the midcourt line. Hard to the bucket. Left hand up off the glass. No. And that'll be the end of the first half. 30 to 25. Mountaineers up by five points. We'll send you to Greg Gumbel in New York with AT&T at the half after this message and a word from your local station. You're watching the men's NCAA basketball. Only allowing 60 points a game during those seven games. Woo, what a play by English as he double clutched it in. Ebanks, that's his first. Free, watch any game from the tournament live at NCAA.com. It's only the fourth free throw attempt for Missouri.
Well, the fastest 40 minutes in basketball seems to have occurred on Friday. Today, that 40 minutes for Missouri, they feel like this. Number 15, he's scoreless today. Angler somehow figured out a way to bank that one in. And somehow, Bryant, Buck, Ebanks, Jones. Ball kick, House not able to put points on the board, not able to hit shots, but he's played flawlessly from a ball handling standpoint, hasn't turned it over. Zaire Taylor, you're a big man, and there's a guy in the paint. Forget about your man, you're protecting the basket. And he left it. Boy, how solid is the West Virginia defense? Just forcing Missouri to grind it out. Kicks it up and in, counted on the foul. And no sooner did I say that, and Michael Dixon comes in with his quickness to break down the defense. So far, so good until Dixon sees a path and it has to make a decision. He brings him in the game late. He is a freshman, but right now, he's their best. Makes some pay. Once again, exploiting the opening. And on the other end, defensively, West Virginia continues to control the tempo. But Dixon. playing a solid half-court defense. But Michael Dixon in transition, usually off of steel. Dixon, got it. This kid's really playing well, and only a flexion is trying to get Missouri some easy baskets, but the young and has got to get some folks to follow him. And Tiller with two. We reference the four-day Keith Ramsey's had. You take a look at what he's been able to contribute very little on the offensive end. Kim English. Michael Dixon really the only one who is stepping up and rising to the challenge. It's the one you look for. Taylor three. No, but the tip jab by Ramsey. And a timeout, West Virginia. And Bob Huggins erupted off the bench. Take it, Devin Ebanks is the guy who just didn't block out. He was just getting ready to go after the ball. And a And Inc. will make that Taylor gets a second. Two games in three days. Even though you're trying to wear the other guy down, it may have a tendency to affect you. There's a turnover. Tiller. And a blocking foul. Coming up. Missouri really amping it up on defense. Well, they know they have to make a move right now. And off that turnover, Tiller's got to take it straight to the basket. Yeah, he avoided basket is about to hit the deck first free throw good for JT Tiller now Thurlman comes throw shooter and JT Tiller who barely grazed him in gets the second four-point game the winner to move on to Syracuse to Morgan had a pretty easy time of it had guys get an opportunity to rest Missouri had to play Clemson the whole way Taylor big time three and we have a three-point game 56 53 and a foul in the backcourt. It's about expending a lot of energy trying to create turnovers. And finally here in the second half, towards the end of the second half, is Missouri had success in turning West Virginia over. Prior to that, West Virginia. First one good. Tiller. Currently for Missouri, they've got 15 second chance points. Normally that's the province of West Virginia getting second. Jumper, air ball. Ramsey goes up high. Outlet, Taylor, diagonal, English. And that's an offensive foul. Great play by Missouri. As he's Last time he launched a shot as well. Only a three-second differential between shot and game clock. Green. That's a two. It's a one-point game with 20 seconds left and no timeouts remaining for Maryland. And obviously Vasquez has got to engineer something. Player of the year, taking it right at Morgan. Right at Raymar Morgan. 6.6 .6 left. Draymond Green finds Lucius for the win. He got it! Spartans move to the Sweet 16. They will have to check the clock to make absolutely certain. I don't know that I don't know that Tom is on and he is hugging Kaylin Lucas right now. I don't know that he had three against eleven defeats, all at Michigan State.
2.03 to play second half. West Virginia with a 60 to 55 lead. No, get another opportunity. Here's Dixon, throws it in the corner to Tiller. He fires and hits. And a timeout call by the Tigers of Missouri. As Thurman misses, boom, offensive rebound. That's stick back by Butler. Boy, how many times has he done that? And again, outstanding job of getting free for that big rebound, as he mentioned before. That's been the key for West Virginia. Key plays, big rebounds, big shots. Taylor off the mark. Jones with the board. His 10th year. They had that game won. And that was something Bob Huggins had lamented, but not now. Bowers inside, no. Ramsey there for the stick back with 18 seconds to go. Mountain and Missouri calls holding on. So that will do it. West Virginia received a little scare, but in the end, they hit their free throws and defeat Missouri 68 to 59. So let's take a look at the bracket. This is what Syracuse will look like next week. Thanks so long from Buffalo. We'll send you to Greg Gumbel in New York. After this message and a word from your local station, this has been a presentation of CBS Sports, the exclusive home of the men's NCAA Basketball Championship.